Hello and welcome to the stream. Where today we're going to be trying, emphasis on trying, to uh, get all those Darkness 15 wins. I've got a good portion of them, but some of them are still going to be really difficult. Mainly the guns is what I'm worried about, like the magic bow. I'm not super great with the magic bow. So I'm a little bit worried about that, and I'm not really sure who I want to play with the magic bow with. I was uh, I was thinking maybe, maybe it might be good with Yuki, because she can send out those freezing butterflies. Causing enemies to freeze for longer, or to possibly be permafrozen. And then when she reloads, it might give the arrows more of a chance to hit the enemies because they're still frozen. Maybe? But I'm not sure. I mean, if I was super good at this game, I would think Luna would be super good with the magic bow. Because you could just shoot all your arrows and then place your uh, black hole right in the perfect spot to just have all the arrows come right back to you. And through the enemies that are all in the black hole, but I don't know. I don't think I got that kind of talent. Anyway, let me go ahead and run the ads real quick, and I'll be right back. Oh, there it is. Still gonna want to steal the name of the game from here. Okay. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> should be ready to go. I really wanted to play more Vampire Survivors today, but I don't think I can trust myself with that game. To actually stick to the four hour time limit. Because I do need to grab hub today. It's going to be a, a rough day, but hopefully I can manage it. Because it is very cold out there, and it is super snowy. Like, it's not snowing currently, but there is snow everywhere. So yeah, I did manage to get the uh, win with Diamond and the Shotgun, because Diamond Shotgun is classic. I still need Shauna. I still need Scarlet. Like, Scarlet has only won on Darkness Zero. She's probably... Yeah, she's the worst right now. I was thinking Raven with the crossbow might be pretty good. Although the crossbow only does 20 damage. Odd. And if any of these people I have a ton of trouble getting a win with, then there's always the SMGs, which I think is just uh, almost a guaranteed win, even though their damage is not much. Like it says right there, upgrades apply separately to each gun, which is amazing, and it triggers on-shoot effects twice, which is kind of crazy too. I was thinking maybe of trying trying the crossbow with Raven. Although, she only has 3 HP. That is rough. It's just as bad as Yuki. The Spark also has 3 HP. And I did get 15 with her. Eh, sure, why not. Yeah, let's go with Raven and the crossbow, I guess. I think getting the crossbow win on Darkness 15 is probably going to be the hardest one. Because I'm not the greatest with the crossbow. But, give it a shot, shall we? Never know if we don't try, right? There's her bird. Oh, by the way, I've never actually shown 
Raven on stream. I unlocked her well off stream. Hello, I feel like I'm already being swarmed. That's not good. Oof, that was a cadence shot with a crossbow. Very interesting. Good. Okay, so holy art seems to make perfect sense here. I don't need dark arts right now because her crow can already cause curse. But holy art seems to make perfect sense because she only has one bullet anyway. So you can use smite a lot. There we go. Uh, Pyramage is fine. Let's go with quick hands. Trying to get that reload rate up. That was a good thread the needle there. Oh, it is only doing 40 damage. Oh, that feels real bad. Nothing like the 120 damage I was doing when I first played her. Because I tried to use the grenade launcher with her. Because it's obviously the strongest weapon. Whoa. And that causes her curse to do just tons of damage. I think I'll go with double shot. This is also going to lower my curse, but does at least make it so that we can cover more area. Look at all this experience. Good stuff, good stuff. Yes, get him, Crow. Good job. Go for the Exploder. Oh, Ooh, that was close. Too close. I don't want to be losing my Holy Shield this early. Uh, we could go for Divine Wrath. Since I still do have the Holy Shield. Yeah, let's do that. This way we can at least get some lightning strikes happening. Good. Looking decent, looking decent. Okay, there's Fanfire. Definitely gonna go for Fanfire. Like I said, if you're gonna be the crossbow, you might as well go for anything... Anything at all that's going to be on uh, empty magazine effects. Or any of the effects that happen on an empty magazine. Because you are going to empty your magazine every shot. Unless you decide to fill it up a little more. But for now, we've got a very small magazine. Oh, that was tricky. I could use a little bit of speed. That would be nice. Good. Um, split fire's fine. Bullet damage for 50% after one one second after reloading. Yeah, fresh clip actually works really well with the crossbow. It might get to the point where I'm just not gonna charge the crossbow anymore, and it probably will get to that point. Yeah, I actually don't even need to charge it. I'm uh killing in one shot anyway. There's no reason to charge it. All it'll do is slow me down. Rapid fire, there's no reason for that. Magnetism is fine. I think I'm gonna go with Divine Blessing, though. I was saying that my move speed is slow. Yeah, that feels real good right there. There we go, that's much better. The only bad thing about single-clicking the crossbow is it's not gonna do as much piercing. I may actually try and hold it for this elite. Ah, there we go. That was some damage. And I don't think that charging the crossbow actually affects your curse from your crow either. Like, if you're in the middle of charging it. Oh my god. Mini clip already? How is this here already? What the hell is mini clip? Hold on. I'm very curious as to what mini clip actually is. It's fanfire and fresh clip. That's why I never get it, because I never take fresh clip. I hardly ever take it. 
Ah, Vengeful Ghost and Dual Wield is Summon Mastery. Some of these synergies I have never gotten. I think. I've gotten Overload, I've gotten Stand Your Ground, Frostfire, Gun Mastery. Maybe I have gotten all these. Death Plague is Ritual and Reaper Rounds. That's a really good one. Gotten Generator. Have I got Kunoichi before? Increase fire rate by 10% and piercing by plus one every 10 seconds. This bonus is reset upon getting hit. Oh, that's kind of neat. Sword and Shield, I don't think I've seen that one either. When Holy Shield is not active. Oh, no, 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 I've seen that one. Titan is giant and angelic. What the hell is angelic? That must be... So oh, 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 I know what it is. Ooh, it brings your character size up? Ugh, I don't know about that one. Yeah, so I guess I have noticed most of the synergies. Honestly, mini clip is going to be fantastic here. Look at that reload rate. It's already starting to feel pretty good. Stop. Do not even come close to me, bro. Good. Okay, dark arts, kill clip. I mean... Dark Arts is probably the way to go here, just so I can apply Curse myself. There we go, perfect. What does this do? Summon another crow. Crows deal damage equal to your bullet damage. So yeah, so now the crows actually deal contact damage equal to my bullet damage, instead of just cursing. So now they're also like, um, the blades. Oh god, this is already starting to pop off. The little babies can't even touch me anymore. Oh man, that mini clip is so good on the crossbow. Not even kidding. Oh, I do need to get Frost Mage though. If I don't get Frost Mage by the first time the the dashy boy gets here, we could be in some trouble. Arrow magic is fantastic. Look at all the tornadoes. This is why arrow magic is fantastic. Again, if you have something with one clip or one bullet in the clip, you might as well take everything that's going to affect. <laughs> you can also see all the smites that I'm doing. Just tons of smites. You can even hear all the smites. It's like ding, 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 ding. Fantastic. This is gonna start to kill my finger though because I do have to click every single time. That's the problem with the crossbow. You cannot hold the button, or else it just charges. My god, does that do a lot of damage, though? Oh shit, he's here. He's here, and I do not have... Um, oh, Fusilot is so good. I think I'm going to go with Pyromage, because I actually don't have the uh, Frost Mage. So I need to just try and kill him as fast as possible. Ow. I knew that was going to happen. Fuck. Fuck. Thank God for the invincibility. Shit. Damn it. I knew it was going to happen. I, you have to have Frost Mage there. If you don't have Frost Mage, you're dead. That's just what happens. Because he attacks way too fast. Because on Darkness 15, they attack faster. Or they attack double speed or something like that. So he attacks twice as often. And that is very problematic. But unfortunately, I don't think I was ever even offered Frost Mage, so... I mean, you gotta deal with RNG. Damn, that was such a good run, too. But at least I know how to get Mini Clip, because I need Mini Clip. Okay, I'm definitely grabbing this. There's no reason not to grab Gale, because you can... You can just fire them all the time. Well, not all the time yet. My reload speed right now kind of sucks. And I will be limited by my reload speed. Bam! Nice. Thank you. Smite is also fine. There's Frost Mage. I think I'm going to pick up Smite first, though. Just because, like I said, emptying clip effects should take precedence. Just because you need to get these enemies beaten. And Smite does a decent amount of damage. It's not great, but... It's decent. 
I mean, 20 damage to everything around you is pretty decent. And it does seem like it does... Yeah, I think it's a set... A set amount of enemies or something. It's not within your vision radius, which kind of sucks. I wish Smite was in your vision radius, because when you get bigger vision radius, then that would mean more enemies get smited. There. Finally got Frost Mage. Good. Okay, things are looking up. Thank you for that exploder dying. That appreci I appreciate that a lot. Good. Get all this experience real quick. And grab... I mean, I don't... I don't really need to take aim. I guess Holy Might is fine, even though it's not super great on her. I guess it does upgrade her smite to do 50 damage. Oh, actually, that is really good. That looks like it might almost one-shot these boys, I think. Oh, it does one-shot them. Okay, good. It's actually really good. Now, if I could pick up some vitality, that would be per Ooh, frostbite. Or there's ice shards. I think I'm gonna go for the ice shards first. Just because, like I said, things that are gonna happen on emptying of clip are gonna be great on crossbow users. Sometimes I may not even, like, attack an enemy. I may not actually shoot at an enemy. And people may wonder, why are you not actually shooting at the enemies? It's, it's because I'm just trying to pop smite. Remember, smite is 50 damage around us. And I'd love to get some bullet damage. That would be nice. That would make my crows do better with their curses. See, I thought the curse that the crows did was like a better curse, but it's not. It's just it's just curse. Oh, this is not fantastic. I guess I'll take dodge. I guess a 20% chance to dodge is pretty decent, although I just usually try not to get hit at all. I cause that 20% chance to dodge ain't gonna help on that boss. Because he's all over you. But luckily, we now have Frost Mage, which is exactly what you need to counter that boss. Or elite, I suppose. I don't think he's actually a boss. Hey, DJ. Welcome to stream. Uh, yeah, I think Shatter is decent. Please just get away. Thank you. Oh, the smite. Oh, the smite. The smite is strong. Bam! Please die, elite! I don't want to touch you. I don't want to touch you because you'll hurt like hell. Nope. Okay, good. I just have to remember that if I just let go of the bullet, like, everything around me is going to die. As long as it's not an elite. Okay, he's dead. Oh, there's Angelic already. That's interesting. I'll definitely pick up Eye of the Storm, I think. Justice was also... tempting. Getting more maximum HP would be fantastic. Summon another Crow. There we go. That's actually probably one of her best ones. Because now the Crows do contact damage instead of just cursing. Oh man, almost one week to go until the Christmas holiday? Nice! I bet you're excited, huh? I think I'm gonna go with uh, Arrow Mastery. Just boost up Eye of the Storm. I'm actually trying to get all my Darkness 15 wins here, so this is going to be not a walk in the park here. There are still a couple Darkness 15s that I need. And one of the hardest ones I'm trying to do is here right now. I don't think Raven is one of the weakest characters, but I don't... I'm not, I like, a big, huge fan of the crossbow. So this is probably going to be one of my hardest parts, is the crossbow itself. Bro, I already want to be home? Oh, I bet. 
I'm actually gonna grab Vitality here. This will boost up my Smite by another 10 damage. I'll take it. Yeah, that Smite feels real good. Just absolutely dissolving enemies. Also, the Eye of the Storm does 60 damage, right? Yeah, 60 damage. That's not bad at all. And Smite should do 60 damage now, too. Yeah, so I can do like 120 damage real super easy to anything that's around me. Whoa! Hey, bro. You sure came fast, didn't you? I have your counter, though, finally. I was offered it this time. I might have been offered it last time, too. Might have just forgot to pick it up. Um, Nimble's not bad. I think I'm going to go with Pyromage, though. Just in the hopes that maybe... Maybe... Oh, jeez. Okay, it's fine. Oh, no! Oh, man, that was close. Try and smite him. Try and smite him. Catch him in the eye of the storm. He has so much health. It's going to be rough with a crossbow. It really will. Oh, God. Because you only get one shot. So you got to really hope that shot applies to freeze. But you only have a 35% chance. Oh, God. This is when I could really use Frostbite. Um, Glare, Star Wars Shield, Justice. Is it too late for Justice? Is it better just to pick up Light Weaponry? No, I think I'm going to try Justice. I don't know if it's the right choice. But I'm trying! Oh god! Oh, you son of a bitch! Thank god for the arena going away, that's good. Oh, he died! Please give me elements. Home of elasticity, summoning, speed. Damn it. None of these are good. I mean, I guess Tome of Speed is fine. Sure, it's fine enough. I won't say no to speed, I suppose. It... Okay, so I did take some damage. I did lose a maximum HP, but I did pick up Justice, too, so that's good. Well, this weekend I can't get home, sadly. Aww. Because we need to guard the weapon stash. Oh, wow. With other stuff for three days? Goodness. That doesn't sound like fun. Oh, also, DJ, I don't know if you have the money to subscribe. But if you do, I uploaded Ellie's new um, emotes. And they're actually able to be seen a lot better. So if you wanted to check them out, you could. I want to see what people think of them or not. You might still be able to see them without even subscribing, I'm not sure. I think you can just go to the emotes and you should be able to see what they look like. Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah, crap. Oh, thank God for the invincibility. Oh my God, this speed feels really good. Oh man, it's too bad you missed last or yesterday's stream. Good lord, that game is so addicting. What is this? Ooh, sword and shield. I don't think it's time for short sword and shield though. I think I'm gonna go with splinter. Yeah, splinter. Yep, yep. That was the right move right there. That feels really good. There. Now every single enemy will just split into arrows for me. Good. Fantastic. This is good. I think I already have Shatter. Hold on, do I have Shatter? I do have Shatter. Shatter and Splinter are some of the best. Oh yeah, I was pretty busy. Yeah, I bet. But if you do want to see it, check out that VOD. Like, that is a fun game. It's one that your computer could handle too, probably. It's, it's one that's not, like, super graphically crazy. It's a lot like this game, except for the fact that it just, it attacks for you. It's like Brotato, but, like, actually beatable. 
whereas Brotato is almost impossible to beat. I don't know if I want to go for Firestarter. I think I'm just going to go for Frostbite. Oh, look at all the experience. So good. You know, that's one of the things this game needs. It needs an experiment, an experience augmenter like Vampire Survivors has. <laughs> that would be super nice. I would pick it up. Just to get out more levels. Oh, I lost my shield. It sucks. Come on, Justice. Ooh, giant. This might be the one time that I will pick up giant. Because this is going to augment... Um... Yeah, that augments smite. So now it does 50, 60, 70 damage. If I can get enough kills with it, it might do 80 damage. If I could just freaking get another life. Or another maximum HP. Oh my god, look at all this freaking experience. Crazy. There's sword and shield. Or just more bullet damage. I think I'm just going to go for sword and shield, honestly. I think what this does is it makes it so that if smite kills something, it takes a second off of your holy shield, I believe. Wait, hold on. Is that what it does? When holy shield is not active, kills with smite lower the regeneration time by one second. Yep. So if smite kills, then... I should be able to get my holy shield back very quickly. And Smite is very good at killing. Unless it's technically not killing? I can't really tell. Oh, there's freaking regeneration. Oh my god, this is crazy. I think I'll go with light weaponry. I do have decent bullet damage. Please, where's my holy shield? Where is it? Maybe Smite's not killing anymore? Oh god, that was close. Almost got touched there. Not exactly what I want. Oh! I don't need the bullet speed. Although, the bullet damage from Sniper would be nice. Piercing is irrelevant. Assassin would also be nice. But I think it might be time to pick up Dark Arts. What is this? Hmm. What is that? Your dodge chance is increased by a bonus to your movement speed? That is interesting. I do have at least some dodge chance, but not much. What game? It was uh, Vampire Survivors. It's normally a $5 game, and it's on sale now for $4. And it's a lot like this, except for it just... It kind of plays itself. You don't actually have to aim. It is actually a lot of fun, too. And I actually got a win in it, too. Surprisingly, at the very end of the stream, I got a win. Other than that, there's just so much to unlock in that game. It's absolutely crazy. Actually, it might not be a bad idea to take Tiny. Just to shrink my character a little bit. I think I will. Shrink her down to almost normal size. <laughs> She's only 5% bigger now. Because you definitely don't want a big character in this, because that just makes you have a bigger hitbox, and you don't want a bigger hitbox. Thank God for Holy Shield coming back. Holy Shield MVP. Move speed and fire rate. I mean, I don't need fire rate. That's the thing. Windborne is fine. Because that means I can do more damage with Eye of the Storm and Gale. I need Reload is what I need. Like, that's what I need. I don't need Fire Rate. I need Reload. I also don't need Movement Speed. I have plenty of Movement Speed. Oh, boy. This doesn't bode well. These big boys are taking some damage. Could I just get more? Doom is fine. I think Doom will actually apply with my Crows as well, because they apply Curse. So I'm pretty sure it should apply them to them. Because I wanted some tank game that takes less memory. Um, the only tank game that I know... Oh, you bought Shellshock Live? I have that game too. It reminds me of uh, Scorched Earth. Used to play that back in the day. 
I think I'm gonna grab summon damage? I mean, I think that should apply to my crows, too. I don't know, they only do 38 damage? That doesn't seem like much. It's probably fine. Good god, am I fast. Jeez, where did I get all this speed from? Man, they can't even keep up. This does mean that I can do that! Whoa! Oh! Oh, that's dangerous. Okay. You'll probably start firing. I'm noticing that Justice hasn't gotten me a single maximum HP yet. Justice sucks. Oh, come on, Holy Might. Come on. Was close. This is not where you want to be. You definitely don't want to be not killing things. Doesn't feel good. Oh man, I could really use fanfire right about now. And I just, I have not been offered fanfire. This is going to be rough. This will be on a rough, rough elite. Hopefully Smite can keep things at bay and I can just dodge these super slow bullets. And hopefully we can take this elite out and grab an item, which will hopefully be great. Hopefully. Oh god! It's little babies! Shit! Oh, I lost... lost something. I'm about to level, so I might just pick up some experience, especially while I'm invincible. And I don't have it. Gotta dodge. Lucky. I mean, Stalwart Shield is something. I think I'm gonna go with Big Shot, though. I just need more bullet damage. Ow, god damn it, stupid big assholes. Get out of here! Oh, thank god, he dropped an item. Yes! What is it? Inflicting curse also inflicts burn on enemies for 35% of curse damage. Wow, that's a strong burn. That's good, because I already have a curse build going. I wonder if I should have picked up Ritual that one time. I did not pick up Ritual, which is not smart. When you're offered Ritual, you take Ritual. I think I took Big Bullets or something. Which I don't know if that was the right choice. It probably was not. I don't know. This is kind of working. Still need more damage, though. Electromage is fine. Dual wield is probably better since I got the summon damage already. Oh god. Please, these fucking bullets are everywhere. God damn it. They're they're gonna start surrounding me now. Oh god. Please. Please just stay away. Luckily for me, my uh my Eye of the Storm is doing some work. God, I need fanfire so badly. Why has it not offered me fanfire? Fanfire would make this build just work, I think. Please. Please give me fanfire. Please. Fanfire. Please. I can have fanfire? Nope. No fanfire. Damn it. I mean, Reflex is good dodge chance, for sure. I have a trick for trolling players. What, in uh, Shellshock Live? God, I haven't played that game in forever. It has so many weapons. That's the what's one of the coolest things about that game. Oh my god, did I actually manage to get another maximum health? I think I did. I think Justice actually gave me one health. It can give up to three, so... I think it gave me one. I'm trying to think. Hold on. So, I started with three. I lost one when I got the uh, movement speed tome. So that would mean I got one from Vitality. I got two from Giant. Yeah, I did actually get an extra one. Nice. Okay. I wasn't sure about that. I had to do the math. 
please. I just need fanfire. Why am I not getting fanfire? Have I not picked, like, the prerequisites for it? I'm sure it was in the splinter tree, I thought. And I have splinter. Splinter helps. Oh, there's ritual. I mean, I think I have to take ritual. This will help in time. It's not going to help right now. But in time, it'll help. Man, I kind of wish they had a stat on the screen that showed your bullet damage so that you could kind of tell. Because I can't even tell what my bullet damage is right now. Oh, if my bullet damage goes up, that actually means my daggers go up. Oh! Yikes! Oh, the boss is already here. Well, that's unfortunate. Luckily for me, I think all I have to do is hit him a hundred times and he should die. Because I do have Frostbite. Frostbite takes off 1% of their HP every time they freeze. Well, I have to freeze him a hundred times, not hit him a hundred times. That would be if freeze was guaranteed, but it's not. Shit! Fucking goddammit. Stupid exploders, get out of here. Pieces of shit. Or move rate. I mean, there is Angelic too, just to be able to maybe heal. Hmm... I think it's too late for magnetism. You see, none of these say fanfire. Oh, then again, if I want running gun, which could be decent, even though it's not super... Oh, actually, no, it might be great with this other one. The aimbot ruler? <laughs> oh, do you use an aimbot? That's cheating, dude. I was pretty good at that game, even without an aimbot. Because I played so much Scorched Earth back in the day. And it is it is just like Scorched Earth. Except for, like, a, a more modern version of Scorched Earth. Like, Scorched Earth was a super old DOS game. That's how old it was. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. Okay, I was thanking God, but I don't think it's the time to thank him right now. This is still a little sketch. I'm going to... Run away this way for a little bit, because I need some experience. Shit. Shit. Please die, you stupid babies. Now, the unfortunate thing is my bullet damage is going to get higher, but my smite damage is not. Uh, blazing speed might be decent. Actually, yeah, I think I'll take it. This can set things on fire that are around me, at least. Oh. Oh, that was the boss. Okay, good. I was like, as long as that's the boss, I think I'm good. Can I get elements, please? Tome of speed again. Seriously. Oh, there's the tome of elements. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed. Now freeze lasts longer. Burn does more damage. Lightning does more damage. Good stuff. Last item, Shadow Affinity, Fire Rate down, Curse Damage up. That basically just means more Ritual procs. There's Double Shot. Wait, do I have my Holy Shield? I wish you could see your character through this, so you could tell if you have Holy Shield or not. Because if I have it, this would be great. If I don't have it yet, this might not be that good. I don't... I don't think Double Shot is great, though. I think I'm going to go with Reflex, just in the odd chance that I might need Dodge. I think this is a one run, though. Thank God, too. I was really hoping that, like, it wouldn't take very long to do the crossbow, because I really don't like the crossbow. I mean, it's better than the crossbow used to be. Man, the crossbow used to be total dog shit. I saw people playing the old version of this game, and damn... That crossbow used to suck. Well, it would be so dumb to pick up the dragon now. It wouldn't even be able to hatch. It needs three minutes to hatch, and I can't even... I don't even have three minutes left to survive. I got, like, two minutes. Well, these, this bullet damage is starting to get a little out of control. Just a little bit. Actually, in the wind might be good. 
Stalwart Shield is also very good, but I think I'm just going to go with End the Wind. That'll just do more damage from Gale and Eye of the Storm. If I remember correctly, that is the, like, epic pickup from the Gale Tree, or Arrow Tree, I think is what they call it. Believe it or not, that Arrow Tree is actually something new, too. It wasn't in the game before. I gotta try Run and Gun just to see if this works. Oh my god, it does. Wait, wait, hold on. No, 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 hold on. Oh, it does, look! You can charge your shot all the way and still move super fast while you're charging it. That is awesome. I can't help but notice that I still don't have fanfire? Are you fucking kidding me? How do I still not have fanfire? How is that possible? I really need it, because this is where they start to crowd in on you. And I notice this is not as bad as, um, this is not as bad at all as Vampire Survivors is. At the end of Vampire Survivors, like, it's bad. Oh, man, I really don't want any of these. Reaper rounds, I guess, is bullet damage? But I already have infinite piercing. Actually, Wither might be the better choice here. Just so that cursed things take 30% more damage, that actually sounds pretty fantastic. That's 30% more damage from everything, including Smite, Eye of the Storm, everything. The other one was just straight up bullet damage, so yeah. I think it's a no-brainer. I only gotta survive for like another 50 seconds, but again, I don't have a ton of health either, so... I want to try and keep things off of me. This is not going to be like a super strong run, but it's, it's just decent. It's not bad. Oh, you've been doing single player? I didn't even know that game had single player. Huh. I also have to remember that when the ads are on, I, I shouldn't be talking because I don't know who my subscribers are. There's only two left. Some of the things lapsed. Uh, Electromage is probably fine. I don't know if I need the pickup range. Yeah, Electromage is probably fine. Just so we can actually start getting some lightning going. Remember, I did pick up that Tome of Elements, finally. Yeah, Raven's a pretty good character. She's not bad at all. She can be a little weak in the beginning, and honestly, with the uh, with the grenade launcher, her crows are ridiculous because her curse damage just does it, it balls out of control. Yes, good job, Raven. That's a darkness fifteen win with the Raven with Raven and crossbow. Perfect. Okay, so that almost gives me a darkness fifteen win with every single weapon. Except, except the fucking magic bow, man. I freaking hate the magic bow. I just, I, I can never really figure out anybody that works well with the magic bow. I mean, like, I could try it with Yuki. I don't think it's going to work well, though. I, I swear that the magic bow is not that strong. It's decent, and it can get super, super good, but it just, it takes so long to pop off. Oh, it is called the Elemental Barrage. That's what I thought it was called. Alright, I mean, let's give it a shot. Wait, when does she fire her every sixth shot? And it has how many projectiles, or how much ammo? Four? I mean, that's not going to be super great, but I, I guess I'll try it. I don't think this is going to work, though. I think I may have to cheese the magic bow and use Abby. Abby's really good with the magic bow. I mean, at least you can at least hold the left mouse button with the magic bow. It's not like the crossbow. It also sounds like a gun, which is weird. 
I really wish I had more piercing. Oh, yes. Double shot right away. Yes, please. I will not say no to that, because that's just more arrows to come back to me when I reload. You always want a bunch of arrows to come back to you every time you reload. That's actually one of the strengths of the magic bow. Oh my god, fanfire right away? Yes. Oh, that's why I never got fanfire on the crossbow. I never took double shot, I think. Good. Okay. This is already starting to look decent. Not to mention Yuki already has built-in frost. So she shouldn't have any real problem with the, the boss that always gives me a hard time. I'm still gonna call him a boss. I think he is a boss. I'm pretty sure everything that makes an arena like that is a boss. Haste is fine. I think rapid fire is actually better. No, this is not the actual rapid fire. That is just... That's elemental barrage. That's the actual fire rate. That's not bad. Divine Blessing is fine. Because I would love the movement speed and reload speed. Reload speed especially. Reload speed is also very key on the magic bow. Because the faster you can reload, the faster you can yank those arrows back to you. Just like that. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Gotta take split fire, too. Like I said, more bullets. You want all the bullets that you can get. You want fusillade, you want everything that will give you more bullets. Anything that will give you more projectiles at all. That also means even, like, bringing up the clip size also works, because that will technically give you more projectiles to retrieve when you reload. Oh, this is dangerous. <laughs> Immediately had to shift my focus there. Bullet speed is decent. I don't know if it's what I'm looking for, though. I think I want power shot, because I really want splinter. Unfortunately, splinter doesn't work like that, because I was thinking it might. I was like, oh my god, that would be so broken. And it really would. Because Splinter creates so many bullets. And so those bullets are basically just kind of like the revolver shots. They're not actual magic arrows that stick into the ground and everything. I guess it might be kind of... It might actually kind of break the game if it did that, too, because then it wouldn't know where they are, they might just get stuck forever until the next reload or something. It's very... it would be odd. I think I'll take Frost Mage. It's fine. Because right now she only has the ability to freeze with her butterflies. And now she's got the ability to freeze with bullets. Oh, perfect time to pick it up, too, because the boss is here. Or the elite. Uh-oh. Careful. I want to get surrounded. Oh, Fanfire is so good on the Magic Bow. Ooh, Frostbite already? Uh, rubber Bullets is also interesting. Quick Hands is also very good. Like I said, Reload Rate is super good, but I think Frostbite is the take here. Just because she's so good at freezing, it's not just her bullets that can freeze. The Butterflies can, too. Used my Invincibility there. Okay. Send out an additional Frost Butterfly. That's actually probably her best one, I think. Though I haven't played Yuki in a long time either. I don't really remember all of her items either. Dodge. Fire there, max ammo. Perfect. Definitely want max ammo. There we go. See, you can start to just see there's so many bullets out there now. There's just so many arrows. Okay, there's Shatter. Shatter's very good. 
bullet bounce and fire rate. Don't really care too much about that. Reload rate is great too. But I think shatter is the is the take here. Especially like I said, she's built for frost. She's built for like everything frost. I mean it's built into her kit that she can freeze enemies without even being a frost mage, which is kind of amazing. Careful. Now, I'm not doing super gangbuster amounts of damage, so that would be something I'd like to remedy. Also, run and gun would be fantastic. Ooh, fusillade. Oh, god, yes. Just even more projectiles for the magic bow? Hell yeah, dude. I'll take it. Yep. This might be a magic bow win, because this is actually a decent start. Doesn't mean it's a one run at all, because it is still very weak. Uh oh. Oh, here's the big boy. Oh, man! Just absolutely wrecked him with all those reloaded shots. Look at this, watch. <laughs> right there. Damn it. I was hoping he would stay. Uh, careful. Okay, it's fine. I could really use some more piercing. That's not piercing. Damn it. I was hoping it was going to give me piercing, but that is bullet damage and bullet size. Sure. I did say I do need more damage. Good. I do need piercing, however. I don't know if... Oh, beautiful. Please. Nope. No Tome of Elements. Damn. That is piercing bullet size and bullet damage. That's pretty decent. Fire rate goes down. Max HP goes down. Tome of Elasticity is bounce. I don't think bounce is really that useful. And I already have some speed, I think. So I think I'm just going to go with the Tome of Power. I did say I needed bullet damage. And the game has provided hath provided bullet damage for us. I just need more piercing. Like, that was some piercing, but I, I don't think it's going to be enough. Because relying on my cadence shots to do all the piercing is just not going to be enough. Also, I need this arena to go away. That would be very nice. I'm also going to take that, I think. Divine Wrath is fine. Oh, careful. Thank you, arena. Very glad you went away. Perfect timing. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, that Caden shot, though. So good. That's what that is. When it does that infinite pierce like that, that's Cadence. Oh, man. How could I ever do this without Cadence? Like, Cadence is so good. How can anybody play without Cadence? Oh! <gasps> I was asking for piercing! That's infinite pierce! This is more piercing, and... You additionally pierce all killed enemies. So if I could just kill enemies, that's just infinite piercing all the time. Okay, for some reason your stream was running on the background. And I wasn't watching your stream? What? What do you mean? Isn't it supposed to run if you're lurking? Because if you want to, you can just lurk. You don't actually have to watch if you don't like the game or anything like that. I totally understand, because, you know, the game's probably not for everybody. I enjoy it like crazy. As you can tell, I've I've done a lot of work in this game. Okay, this is a little dangerous. I could certainly use some fire rate and some reload rate. That'd be great. I guess I'll pick up Stalwart Shield. That's good. Just in case I get touched, which just happened. I was like, could probably happen, and it just did. Damn it! Damn it, come on. Stop surrounding me, you shitheads. I could still use Splinter, that's for sure. Thank god I picked up that stalwart shield. That should bring my, my uh, downtime on my shield down to like 35%. Oh my god. 
death rounds. I mean, I don't think I can take death rounds. As much as I love to, I don't think I can take it. I'll take Pyromage. It's just technically more damage. Oh, my reload rate is so bad. I don't know why it went down. I thought it was my it was my fire rate that went down from taking the Tome of Power. But my reload rate is just god awful. I need more reload. Well, there's Splinter. That's what I was asking for. Sure, I will actually definitely take Splinter. Splinter is super good. It is, isn't it? Is it? Is it? Is it not good? It doesn't look like any... Oh, okay, I can see their splinters now. Their bullets are very, very tiny. But the good thing about splinter is those shots can sometimes freeze enemies too, because they are technically bullets. Wait, so if I send out two times as many butterflies, does that mean I send them out every three shots? Or do I send two every six? Because if so, that's not great. She's way better with the SMGs, for sure. God, I don't want any of these. I guess arrow magic is fine. Not really what I'm looking for, though, because I do have a clip of five. So I will not be sending out very many gales, that's for sure. Cut. Careful. Beautiful. Oh my god, it's already about to do another ad? That's crazy. I feel like it just did an ad. And again... Oof, okay. Take a little break there. But I wasn't watching your stream because I ordered pizza from a guy and gave him money through the bank app? Hmm. I don't know, did you just minimize it? Because if you just minimized it, that would totally make sense. I'm definitely picking up Vitality here. Might not be the most exciting pickup, but it's probably necessary. They are starting to kind of crowd around me. A little bit. Oh, that Splinter and the Shatter is really doing wonders. Okay, what do we got? Windborn. I mean, I guess it's movement speed. I think I'm going to go take aim, honestly. Even though I don't really need the bullet speed, Jesus Christ, look how fast they travel. God, they travel so far out there. That's Reaper rounds for you. All that infinite pierce because I just, as you, if you kill enemies, you just keep piercing through. Which is kind of amazing, which is essentially infinite pierce as long as you're killing enemies. Essentially. Definitely take intense burn because that's just more damage. I will not say no to more damage. I would also take Frostfire, if I could get it. I'm not exactly sure how to get it, though. I don't remember how. Actually, I'm going to look that up real quick. Where's Frostfire? There. So it's Intense Burn and Frostbite. I'm sure I have those, right? Yeah, I've got Frostbite, and I just picked up Intense Burn, so I could pick up Frostfire. Which would be fantastic, because when you inflict Freeze, also inflict Burn for 6 damage per second. And she inflicts Freeze a lot, because of her Freezing Butterflies. The stream was closed, pretty much? Hmm. Weird. You sure you didn't minimize it? Or are you even on a computer? You actually might be on a phone. Oh, there's Eye of the Storm. Thank god. That ought to help out with the enemies that get a little too close. Oh, the big boys are here. I don't know if I have enough damage for the big boys, but I'll try. It, it's not the time for Siege. Sorry, Siege. It's just not your time yet. I don't know if it would ever be time for Siege, but we'll see. I don't know if this is going to be a Siege build. I mean, it just keeps offering me siege. I really don't want it. I guess I'll, I guess I'll take magnetism, just for the more experience. There we go. Easier experience gain, anyway. I c 
could try doing death rounds. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't need more piercing, really. Although I do want assassin, but I think I'm going to go with holy arts. Just so that it's, it's more of a stay off of me, you freaks kind of thing. Okay. It's looking decent. As long as we can keep these guys frozen, we shouldn't have too much of a problem. And that elemental barrage is so freaking good. And it's gonna happen a lot with her too. Cause she can she can just perma freeze pretty much with her butterflies. Well actually I guess they don't really perma freeze, because they can't refreeze. If they refreeze, they do damage, which is actually really good. Uh, where's the elite? Or the... Yeah, it's an elite, not a boss. Shit! There he is. He's here. He has finally shown up. Just want to get some damage on him. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Um, I guess glare is probably fine. It's not great, but it is another way of keeping things off of me, kind of. Shit! Stop firing your stupid bullets, you dumb bastards. Thank god for the piercing. Oh my god, get out of here! Jeez. Get out of here. I am trying to kill this stupid elite. He just will not die. Oh shit! These fucking bullets, man! This is why I hate the magic bow. And it just isn't giving me any reload rate. Oh god! Oh, that was close. I mean, I do- I think I have some dodge. But I would much rather not have to chance it and leave it up to dodge. Please, just die, thank you. Die? God, everywhere I want to go, there's just enemies. This is not where you want to go. This is not where you want to be. I am falling behind the curve. I also still don't think the Elite has died. I think. I'm actually going to pick up Giant. I know it's not great. If he died, I don't know where the fuck he died. Oh, he did die. There it is. That's one thing I wish this game would do. Oh, it wasn't on windowed? Hmm. Weird. I don't know. See, that's one thing I wish this game would do is point an arrow to your to your chests. Mm -mm. That's what Vampire Survivors does. That would be really nice if they did that. That way you could tell if the elite dies or the boss dies. Double how often Frost Butterflies freezes or damages nearby enemies. That's pretty good. Also, the chests give you experience, which is good. Shit. Thank god for Elemental Barrage and Invincibility. I am really falling behind in the damage department, though. Like, I could use a really, really good... Really good clutch... Um, upgrade here. Please... Ah, uh, is Holy Might the clutch upgrade that I'm looking for? Sniper's just more bullet damage. And it does allow me to get Assassin. Which would be huge. I think I gotta go with that. Just on the hopes... In the hopes that I can get Assassin. Assassin would change everything. Because things would actually start dying then. Because we won't have to take their HP to zero. They'll die as soon as they get to 20%, and getting them to 20% really isn't that difficult. Honestly, I could use Curse, too. I don't even have Curse right now. Curse would be pretty fantastic, really. Still trying to pick up some experience here. I mean, honestly, we do, we do have quite a bit of HP, so that's fine. And if I can manage to get another level without actually being touched, I'll have 4 HP, which is quite decent. 
Yep, there we go. I mean, it might be the time for Holy Might. This would now do 60 damage with Smite. It's pretty decent. Oh, wow. That was good. Thank you, Elemental Barrage. I still really wish I could get a freaking reload rate option. It's just one. Because my reload rate is still so fucking slow. It's real bad. I mean, I'm basically banking on um, Elemental Barrage here, because it brings up my reload rate for five seconds. I, I don't know if Justice is the right move here. I guess watch and learn? I mean, haste would give me running gun. Actually, I think it will take that. And fire rate is fine, too. I won't say no to fire rate, but I, I really need reload rate. That's the one thing that's absolutely killing this run right now. Oh, this should be a little bit better for us, though. As long as we can get rid of these big boys. And kind of see if we can kind of perma-freeze this boss. Because if we send butterflies his direction, he should be... Pretty much perma-frozen. Although I don't know... I don't know if the butterflies actually go where you're aiming, or if they just kind of... Kind of just randomly fly off. Oh, this should be good. I'll just stay here for a little bit. Not too long. Not too long. Good. Damn, I was really hoping for run and gun. Oh, curse. Perfect. Curse was another thing that I said I needed. That is just straight up more damage. I will take it. Eh. Ooh, that was close. It's okay, we have the Holy Shield, just in case we do need to pop it. I'd rather not pop it, but... Oh, well, did it anyway. There's too many of these bullet shooters. Hate them. God damn it. Fuck. God damn, there's just too many bullet shooters. Okay, at least the arena's gone, so now I can fuck out. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, we still have two life. Um, it does mean that Smite is way weaker now, though. I gotta stay away from the boss. I wanna try and freeze this guy so he doesn't catch up to me, too. Because I still don't have running gun. Obviously, I took that one haste movement speed with the hopes of getting running gun, but it hasn't happened yet. Shit. Please. God, he's so close. Why do you have to be so fast, dude? Did I just get healed? Oh no, that was my holy shield coming back. Good. Oh, shit, I don't want any of these either. It's too late for justice, I think. I guess ice ice shards fine. Not exactly what I'm looking for. I mean, I already have enough chances to ice and stuff. Oh, this is good though. I can just keep the little turds off me. Stop! Get away, you bitches! There we go. Good. Good, good, good. Got it. What is it? Frozen enemies take 30% extra damage. That's fantastic. That is good news. Look at that. Just everybody dies. Because everybody's pretty much going to be frozen. Okay, good, good, good. There's Assassin. Perfect. There's also Quick Hands. I was asking for Reload Rate. I think I'm going to go with the Reload Rate, honestly. Assassin is good, but I don't think I necessarily need it now. I really need the reload rate. God, it feels so good. It feels so much better, because now I can fire much faster. There's much less downtime. Which is fantastic. This might be a one run, but it's still going to be very tricky. I think we'll go with Electro Mage just for a little bit more damage. I'd also like to pick up Electro Mastery would be nice. Even though I don't think that's going to be super useful. The The good thing about her is, since she comes with Frost automatically built into her kit, um, Frostbite is super good on her. I mean, Doomed here, or Doom is probably fine. It's just more damage. 
There's the pickup. Is that Tome of Elements? Perfect. Yeah, I'll definitely take Tome of Elements. That's absolutely perfect on her. Because you definitely want enemies to be frozen for longer. I could still use more reload rate. Honestly, running gun would be fantastic. Like I said, I picked up haste in the hopes of getting running gun. Uh, Frostfire is also fine. Is it good enough to pick up over regeneration, though? I mean, this is only 90 seconds. I only have 90 seconds left to survive anyway. 96 seconds. I guess I'll pick up Frostfire. It's fine. I hate these shooters. Like, they are some of the worst enemies in this game. The ones that just shoot at you, they are just the worst. Okay, well, I mean, this might actually work. God, I hope it works, because I really don't like the magic bow that much. I'm going to have a lot of fun with the SMGs, though, because the SMGs are a lot of fun. And I'm thinking who I really want to do the SMGs with really badly is uh, Scarlet. Scarlet works really well with the flamethrower or the SMGs. Anything that fires really fast and has, like... A decent clip size, at least. Whoa. Watch it now. There we go. Still no running gun. Wow, that's super sad. I don't... I don't know if fire starter's the way to go. Maybe just blazing speed. Just because if things get close to me, at least they'll burn. I think we got this. Got 30 seconds to survive. Pretty sure we can do it. And if I can get all my Darkness 15 wins, then I want to try and do an Endless mode. I've still got time. It's only been an hour, and we're, we're like, crushing these wins. Like I said, this game is not easy, but it's more beatable than freaking, um... Uh... God, what is it? Freaking Brotato. That's for damn sure. It's not to say that Brotato isn't beatable. I've beaten it three times. But, I mean, this is on the most hardest level, and I'm still winning. I think this game just gives you more to work with. Whereas Brotato doesn't. It's because their shop sucks. This game doesn't have anything to do with money. It's just experience. The same with... Um, Vampire Survivors, honestly, was all about experience, too. Sure, you can get gold, but that's for, like, meta progression and stuff. Okay, so now... We have pretty much got everybody here. I still gotta win with Haster. And Luna. I don't know what I'm gonna do with Luna. Not sure. And Shauna. But yeah, like I said, I think the next run has got to be Scarlet with the dual SMGs. Too much fun. And it says, on every third shot, throw out a wave of fire that burns enemies for three damage per second, which is fine. And I'm pretty sure that does get buffed up. We almost have all of my perks. Not that I would ever use any of these other ones, but they're almost all at 5-5. Five five. Almost. Which means there's nothing to do with the spirit. I'll just let it stack up. That way if they ever bring an another character, I can just immediately buy them. Or if they ever bring another weapon, I can immediately buy it. Uh, but the thing is, like, these two characters, you actually have to beat the temple map and the pumpkin patch to unlock them. So they weren't just there and then you can buy them. I think as soon as you beat it, you actually unlock them to be able to be used. I don't think you unlock them to be bought. They're just automatically there, I think. Can't remember though, it was it was a while ago. Anyway, I've never actually played Scarlet with the SMGs, I think. Because back when I played her in Darkness Zero, I didn't even have the SMGs unlocked. The SMGs are super fucking good though. Like, really good. 
Because they apply the on hit effects twice. Oh, they're so good. Oh my god, it, it actually means that she is actually sending out more fire, too. That's one of the things. Um, Actually, yeah, Quick Hands is fine. That's one of the things about the dual SMGs, though, is that... See, she's sending out fire almost every shot. Almost every shot. Whereas it's supposed to be every three shots... But technically, this counts as two shots per shot. Which is kind of ridiculous. Anybody that has anything that has anything at all to do with, oh, you know, however many shots or whatever. This is this is the gun to do it. It's even better than the flamethrower, honestly. I think it's time to pick up Frost Mage for sure. If you're offered Frost Mage, you take Frost Mage. Because you need it when it comes to that one boss. He is a pain in the dick. Now, the only thing that's bad about the SMGs is they don't have the most fantastic damage. So you gotta figure out a way to get some damage. And Power Shot is a fantastic way to get some damage. Please, Exploders. Oh, I heard them explode. Good. Oh, I just wanted to clear away there. Perfect. Get out of the way, Exploder. Thank you. Want some experience, and then... Beautiful. That poor tree. <laughs> poor tree doesn't even know what hit it. Reload rate is good. More bullet damage is also good. Fresh clip is fine. I don't want mini clip on this though. It's not really what you want on a, a dual SMG. But I guess armed and ready is fine. More bullets sounds pretty good. Oh, I blew up my shield. That was not smart. Ah, frostbite, fantastic. Really good stuff. I wish those exploders had a bigger explosion radius. Fuck. God, I've been focusing this reload rate like crazy, and it still sucks ass. Oh, Splinter. That's good. Splinter will help a lot. It's not going to help a ton, a ton, because these bullets are so, so weak. Honestly, what I need is I need intense flames, or intense burn, that's what it's called. I think that's what it's called. God damn it! Rapid fire is also fine. Guess I'll take rapid fire. It's fine. Yeah, the dual SMGs might be harder than I thought. It's just because they're so, so weak. Sure, they fire fast, but god damn are they weak. And without run and gun, you're gonna get surrounded pretty easily. get that elite down. Oh, there's so much experience over here. Perfect. Smite is probably not the right thing here. I guess I'll go for Ghost Friend. He at least has piercing bullets. And he does way more damage than my wimpy bullet damage. Oh, careful. I'll get touched by that elite. Actually, I can't get touched by anything. I have one life. 
Uh, big shot's fine. I would like Reaper rounds for sure. Oh, thank God I got a heal. That is fantastic news. Just try and get around these guys. Oh, shit. Ooh, that was close. Come on. Get out of the way. Thank you. What does this do? Pyromaniac. Scarlet gains plus 10% fire rate every time she inflicts burn. This buff resets on reload. Wow. Oh, that's right. So if you never have to reload, she just keeps getting fire rate every time. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. That's one of her better ones, I think. I believe. Because she, she inflicts burn a lot. And if you can somehow never have to reload, which is possible, we've seen it before, you can get some insane fire rate. Oh, gun mastery already? I mean, sure, I won't say no to that. I certainly won't say anything, or say no to anything that will buff up my guns. These guns need the buffs, they really do. They're fun. They fire really fast. They apply a lot of effect. Oh, that's another thing, too. They can double apply fire, which means she can get even more fire rate. Ooh, kill clip might be good. I think I'm going to take kill clip there. Just to see if we can keep that reload rate low. Ooh, careful. I would still like to get run and gun, though. We get run and gun, and this is almost a one run already. Gotta be careful of this guy, though. He can be dangerous. Eh. Okay, frozen. Oh man, that piercing of her fire is ridiculous. Good. I don't even care. I don't even care. I can hit you from off the screen, bitch. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. What do I need? What do I need? I mean, honestly, maybe Smite? Because I am actually emptying my clip pretty damn quickly. Oh god. Oh god! No, I'm getting surrounded! Fuck! God damn it, the worst time for this stupid arena to be here. Try again. God, that was such a good item for her, too. That was probably her best item. I don't think she has better items. I mean, all the items are fine, but there's always that one item that's like, man, that is the best item. And that was probably it. If only RNG would have just given us better choices. But I mean, that's that's what happens when you play on Darkness 15, too. You get four choices instead of five, so you don't get as much. I'll take Frost Mage immediately, that's fine. That way I know that I can freeze at least. Which can help out a lot. If you can't kill something, freeze it in place. And then get away from it. Yeah, it does help for making pathways, at least. Quick hands? Yep. I will take reload rate. That is one of their downfalls. They hold a lot of ammo, but they take a long time to reload. Pay attention. Ooh, that was close. Set the exploders on fire, and then hopefully they will end up dying. I think I'm gonna go with haste. Pyramage was a good choice there, too, just to try to get to intense burn so that all my fire does more damage, but I'm really trying to get to run and gun. Because if I can just get run and gun, that would be huge. Damn it, and of course it doesn't give me run and gun. 
More maximum ammo is also fine. Yep, I'm invincible, it's fine. Once we start firing fast like that, we know that we're invincible. That's one of the good things about Elemental Barrage with her too, is she's gonna trigger it a lot. Okay, that's actually decent. I do believe double shot is fine. Because again, it's gonna be four shots instead of, what, it only adds one projectile usually? This one is two projectiles, because each SMG gets their upgrades uh, separately. So you can basically just think of it as two separate guns that get the same upgrades. So anything that upgrades a gun is going to be super fantastic. Also, you can double apply Dark Arts, you can double apply Frostbite. I think I'll take Frostbite. Frostbite's really good. I actually did get frostbite last time, I don't think. So this is already looking like maybe a little bit better. I'm hoping the elite is going to give us that same item. Because I, I do believe that was Scarlet's like best item. Eh. Dangerous. Oh, I heard explosion there. So much experience. There's Pyromage. I think I'll pick it up now. Just because I really want to get to Intense Burn. If we can get to Intense Burn, that is really good. I don't know if it's a one run, but it's really good. That is not Intense Burn. But Electromage is fine. It does mean that I think... Yeah, every single shot we get to fire two lightnings, I think? Looks like it. That wouldn't normally happen. I think. I think it's two every single shot. I could be wrong. It might just be one. But this thing does fire so rapidly that it's a little hard to tell. There's the item. Good. Let's not make a beeline for it. Make sure that it's nice to save first. Whoop. That was close. Thank you. Good. Please? Yes. It's the same one. Pyromaniac. Perfect. There's fanfire. It's not what I'm looking for, though. You know what I'm looking for? Not even shatter. Shatter is good, yes. But I'm looking for energized. That's what I'm looking for. Any ability to not have to reload is good on her, because then she can get that massive fire rate. There's more... More lightning is good. I may not even have to pick up fire rate at all. She could be super good with Siege, too. Just anything that makes it so you don't have to reload ever again. Because she's going to inflict burn like crazy. I still could use that intense burn, though. Okay, this is looking pretty decent so far. Not too bad. What is this? Power Shot? Power Shot is really good, too. I think I'll take Power Shot. But see, for the most part, like, all the upgrades in this game are just straight up good. I mean, some of them kind of take down your bullet damage, but what you get in return is huge. Whereas some of the things in Brotato, it's like, man, I mean... I don't know, is 2 HP worth losing 1 HP regen? Bleh, 1 HP regen? I don't know. I don't think it is. Okay, get him. Don't let him touch me because he will hurt like hell. I just kind of want to kite him around as much as I can. Because I'm, I'm kind of hoping that maybe the arena will go away. That's the hope. 
Or, I mean, if he... Oh, he did die. Wow. That was fast. Shit. Hey, La Mule. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. And welcome to the stream. Oh, the Tome of Elements. It's so perfect. That's exactly what I need. Tome of Elements on her is perfect. Please. Please, Arena, you have to go away. Fanfire is decent. I don't know if I'm going to pick it up, though. I think I'm going to pick a big shot. I would really love to get to assassinate. Fanfire is good, but... I'm trying to get to a point where I'm not going to reload anyway, because her item that she picked up is so good if you don't reload. Please. Please, Arena, you have to go away. Thank you. Whew. That was getting a little dicey. Good. Please. Shit. Oh, this is bad. It's still just the reload rate is so bad. Oh my god. Like, I want to get to the point where I don't reload at all, but I would like to get kill clip. That would be awesome. There's Fanfire again. No, I'm taking Intense Burn for sure. Intense Burn is just perfect for her. She burns so often. Oh yeah, that worked. That worked real well. Things are just dying now. Good. Now, if I could just pick up a couple more things... I don't think Holy Arts is what I'm looking for. Running gun! Running gun. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, running gun is so good. Oh, it's so good. It's so perfect. Now I don't ever have to take my finger off the left mouse button. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're starting to get a little bit ahead of the curve. Not too much, but a little bit. I think fire starter might not be a bad idea. Just more fire? That sounds really good to me. Oh yeah, look at those fireballs. Holy crap. She won't fire them as, as uh, fast as her fireballs, because that's every three shots. This one will be every five shots, which will... Probably end up being every two shots for us, I think. Right around every two shots, because the dual SMGs count as two guns. Oh boy. Oh man, that lightning. That lightning is just crazy. Thank god I got that Tome of Elements. It keeps everything frozen for so much longer. I don't even think I need Reaper rounds, really. I mean, honestly, at this point, I might pick up the dragon. Is it worth it to pick up the dragon? Maybe? I guess I'll give it a shot. I almost never take the dragon, but, you know, if you're going to have Tome of Elements, might as well go with the dragon. He can maybe hatch. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, God. Damn it, you sons of bitches, get out of here. Yeah. They still are very annoying. I still could use Eye of the Storm. If In the Wind would have been Eye of the Storm, I would have taken it in a heartbeat. Eye of the Storm? Nope. That is super unfortunate. I guess I could take Glare. I don't think the dragon gaining damage is something that I need right this instant. Especially because he's not even born yet! Whoa! Come on. God, I just wish I had more damage in a 360 version of damage, but I just don't. And Glare is certainly not going to be the damage I was looking for. Oh, there's Overload. When lightning strikes an enemy that is burning, create an explosion that deals 25, 25 damage? Hell yes. Hell yes. That is exactly what I need, because everything is going to be on fire. 
Oh yeah, that is clearing enemies out. Oh, what a what a good synergy. What a good time for that to show up too. When we still got little babies. There's Frostfire. Definitely got to pick up Frostfire. Now if enemies freeze, they're also burning, which means just more potential explosions. Good. Yeah, this is working. We're almost surviving the babies. They're almost done. I have definitely curved above the babies now, which is good. I don't know how I'm going to do with the big boys, though. Is this still damage? That's all it's offering me? That's not really what I want. Move speed is fine. The effect occurs more often the faster you move. I guess I'll just take the dragon damage, since right now I do feel like I've already curved high enough to deal with these little babies. I still could use some reload speed, so uh, if you could see so fit as to give that to me game, that would be really nice. Or just offer it to me. Shatter is really good, too. This is reload rate. That's what I was asking for. Do I have the Holy Shield now? I'm gonna go with Shatter. Shatter's too good to pass, and I do have the Holy Shield. Damn, it's fine. Shatter's too good to pass up on. There we go. You can just hear everything shattering now. Tons of damage. Okay. Babies should be done now. Oh, Kill Clip. That's exactly what I wanted. Kill Clip is 100% what I wanted. Now Reload Rate is a thing of the past. Well, while we were fighting babies, anyway. Now that we're not fighting babies anymore, that's a different story. Because now I can't kill anything, because there's nothing on the screen to kill. Here we go. Nice. Another dragon attack, or dragon ability. Uh, yes? Maybe? I think my dragon's gonna hatch. At the very least, oh my god, tree got absolutely fucked. It, oof. That was a tricky one. Please. Please. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think I can kill trees. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can. Wait, do I have frostbite? I do have frostbite, so I could technically probably kill trees. It's not worth it, though. There's my dragon! Yo, dragon, what's up? Bro, I knew you'd hatch. And I've got both of the upgrades for the dragon, so that's good. Now all I gotta do is get that last upgrade for the dragon, and we will be sitting pretty. Because for those of you who don't know, the last upgrade for the dragon gives you... Oh, what do I get here? Um, it gives you... Or it gives you bullet damage... Up from... I can't remember how much it is, though. It's some amount of percentage of your dragon's damage is added to your own bullet damage, which is kind of amazing. And I could totally use that. Because my bullet damage is still kind of poopy. It ain't great. Oh, wow. That reload rate, though, is so good. Oh, hey, is this a, is this an elite already? Really? Doesn't even feel like an elite. He is getting just absolutely wrecked. Look at this. He's dead. What is the item? Burn lasts twice as long? Sure. I won't say no to that. That means more potential lightning explosions. And more damage from burn. Because I have intense burn already, so that's really good. Okay, so just burn everything. Okay, this is looking really good, I gotta say. This actually might be a win for Scarlet. 
There it is right there. Dragon Bond. Your bullets deal additional damage equal to 10% of your dragon's damage. I think that is a plan. Because my dragon's damage is going to go up every minute. It was the first one that I picked up. So he was still getting damage while he was in the egg. I don't know how much damage he's doing. But it's probably pretty decent. I still need something. But that does mean that the game cannot outscale us now. It is impossible for the game to outscale us now, I think. Unless they scale faster than the dragon does. Which I guess could be possible. My dragon also does have the attack speed scaling as well. Which is also very good. I can't tell if he's firing like super fast, because all I can see is my own shots. Okay. Do you remember we have run a gun, we have kill clip. Kill clip is really good here. As you can see, it's really helping our reload rate so much. Like, I'm just able to spray all over and then reload and spray all over again. That being said, I would still take some more reload rate. Damn, this is not reload rate. But this technically is more lightning, so I'll take that. I'll take more lightning. That just means potentially more ability to fire super fast. Maybe. We'll have to see what happens. Oh. They should not be able to outscale me, but I don't know. Maybe they still can. I don't have curse yet, so that is a thing I have to remember. I also don't think I have split. Oh, no, no, I do have splinter. I can see the little baby shots. Okay, we've got six minutes to survive. Probably fine. It's doing just fine. I still would love to pick up Eye of the Storm, although I don't even think I have Gale yet. There's Split Fire. No, 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 no. Definitely pick up Dark Arts. No, I definitely have to have Gale. Because I saw it in the wind there. Wait, do I have Gale? I don't even see Tornadoes. Wait, do I have Gale? I have to have Gale, don't I? Maybe not. Okay, never mind. I don't think I actually have it. In the Wind must be like a... A speed up. It's probably the running gun tree. Oh man, that curse is helping so much. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I needed right there. Because now I just have so much... So much power. I would still take Ritual if it was offered to me. I would probably also take Wither. Oh my god, what was that enemy doing? He just like flew in here like super fast. Okay, boss should be here now. Yep, here he is. I can probably just kind of perma freeze this bastard. I just gotta be careful of these stupid shooters. They're always the worst. Oh god! Yeah, they're always the worst! Okay. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, where do we take Divine Blessing for the more reload? I think we take Divine Blessing for the better reload. Even better reload. I'll take it. I don't want to reload, but if you have to reload, you'll want to reload fast. I would rather never reload, because then she would have so much fire rate. It would be ridiculous. I do not want to lose my holy shield, please. I lost it. That is very unfortunate. I really didn't want to lose it. Oh, god damn it, you pieces of shit. Get out of here. God, they're just... There's so many. Like I said, I don't... Fuck! God damn it. It's just, I don't, I didn't have anything to deal with the 360 problem, which is things getting too close to your character. I had nothing. It wouldn't give me Eye of the Storm at all. Granted, I don't even think it ever offered me Gale. Fucking god damn it. That had the best 
run, too. That had the best potential to be an actual win. But it just, it just stopped offering me anything good. Because honestly, I would have rather taken any other reload rate rather than Holy Shield reload rate. Because you know you're going to pop your Holy Shield for sure. That is definitely happening. Especially with all those stupid fucking shooters. I hate them all so much. Like, they're always the worst enemy in the end. All the time. Because they have way too much HP. And those bullets, even though they travel slow, they're just so easy to hit. They're so fucking huge. I mean, they're just about as big as these baby enemies. That's about how big the bullets are. And those baby enemies are very easy to hit. I don't know if I'm going to take the... I don't think I'm going to take the dragon. I think that was a mistake. I just think the dragon is bad. Like, the dragon needs to be buffed to be good. I don't think the dragon is a take, like, ever. Unless you're playing Endless, and you can get, like, a shitload of dragons, that's kind of cool. But if you're not playing Endless, I would probably never take the dragon. I tried to make it work, but man, the dragon sucks. That could have been, what, four upgrades that I could have taken better upgrades with? My game is fine, but I think I'm gonna go with Dark Arts. Go with Dark Arts early, just so that I can deal with this Elite faster. Deal with waves faster. Remember also, I think her fire pierces infinitely as well. I don't even think it has anything to do with Cadence. Pretty sure... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have anything to do with Cadence. Frostbite early is good. Reload rate was also very tempting, but I think... Picking up Frostbite is going to be the way to go here. Just to do more damage. Though unfortunately, or I mean, if you think about it, reload rate is also damage. In a in a weird roundabout way, but it is. Uh, I mean... Not fantastic. I guess fire rate is fine. Not exactly what I'm looking for. But she's not Shauna, so she can't re-roll. That is unfortunate. Again, like I was saying, you can use the Frost Mage ability to your... Uh, I was going to say to your detriment, but no, that's not the word. To your benefit. There we go. Just by not having to kill enemies, but like freezing them in place so that you can figure out where you're going to dodge. Pyromage is tempting. I think I'm going to take it. I know that she can already set on fire, but like I said, you got to get that intense burn. Intense burn on her is necessary. Because I do believe it buffs up all your fire. Man, I had that last win, too. I just, I can't believe how many fucking shooters there were. It's so ridiculous. There's arrow magic. Oh, but there's intense burn, too. I gotta go for intense burn, for sure. Arrow magic, if it's offered again, I will take it, though, because I do need Eye of the Storm. Eye of the Storm just helps so much. With keeping little piss ants off you. Please get out of the way, thank you. There it is, there's Gale. I think I'll take it. Gale itself is fine, too. Okay, I see that item. Hopefully it's the fire rate. The burning twice as longer would be fine, too, and I can't remember what her third one is. 
Got it. It's pyro affinity. That's what it is. So it's bullet damage down, but burn damage up. That is probably fine. It does mean my curse just got weaker, though. But it does mean that her fire gets incredibly strong. And I already have intense burn, so it's already stronger. Wither might be fine. Trying to get to Ritual as soon as possible. Because if we can get to Ritual, we can get that, uh, that bullet damage going up. Just over time, honestly. Because I can see Curse is still killing a lot of enemies. Damn it. Of course they don't give me Ritual. I mean, there's Soothing Warmth, but... Uh, I'd rather just not take damage? Honestly, I think, I think I do go for Soothing Warmth here, though, because all the rest of them aren't that super great. Magnetism is kind of tempting, but I don't think it's really that necessary. Thank you. Man, I was really, really banking on Ritual there, though. It's fine. Just remember not to run into, um, freaking other enemies. No, wait, this is... Oh, no, that's Windborn. Oh, wow, Windborn and In the Wind look almost exactly the same. What is this one? Light bullets. Fire rate up. Bullet speed up. Max ammo up. Hmm. What does this one do? Windborn. Heals damage is increased. Sure. I think I'll take Windborn. I hardly ever take the Magic Lens either, because I don't think the Magic Lens is very good. And its upgrades are super weak, too. Because I don't think that Bounce is really all that great. But we know our bullet damage is going to suck. But our fire is fantastic. And I still have Frostbite, too. Which means this guy has taken some serious damage. Please get out of the way. Thank you. I need to get over here and get some experience. Thank you. Oh, perfect! Tome of Rage? Man. I mean, Tome of Rage is probably fine. Yeah, it's probably fine. I don't see any reason not to pick it up, except for the fact that it is going to bring my spread up, but my bullet damage is, like, garbage anyway. I'm not doing it for bullet damage, like, I'm doing it for the fact that I can fire faster, see? And that means more fire. Honestly, I don't, I don't give a shit about the spread. I care about the more ammo and more faster fire rate, because my, my fire does gangbusters amount of damage. Well, that Tome of Rage actually might have been the way to do it, because again, I don't care about bullet damage. I do not give any dams about bullet damage anymore. It's already down because of the pyro affinity. There's arrow mastery. Arrow mastery is fine. Oh, electromage. Electromage for sure. Look at this. Look at the lightning. Oh, I definitely need some reload speed though. And she feels like she already got that first item, because she fires so fast. But that's because of the Tome of Rage! Fuck! God damn it, I knew they were going to pop my shield like assholes. Frostfire is fine. I would love to pick up Shatter. That would be nice. Nope, no Shatter. That's fine. Hmm. 
I mean, Splinter would be good too, but it's just bullet damage, so it's probably not that great. I guess even Ritual doesn't make much sense now, now that my bullet damage is so low, but I guess it's the best one here, honestly. Or Magnetism. I guess I'll take Magnetism. Because I don't think Ritual is going to be the way to go. I don't think I'm going to be killing anything with Curse. Well, I guess I am still killing with Curse. But my bullet damage should be painfully low. Though I can't always... I, like, can't remember 100% what Tome Rage does for bullet damage. I know it's pretty damn low, though. Bullet bounce, max ammo, fire rate, bullet speed. Sure. Fire rate's fine. I won't say no to more fire rate, even though I certainly don't need it. But max ammo? That sounds pretty good. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Now I just need Energizer, or Energizing Bullets or something, and we would probably never have to reload ever again. That's assuming I can get it. Which I can, because I do have Electromage. So it is possible. Oh, I was hoping it would be right there. <laughs> Recharge is also very interesting, but I don't have Running Gun, so it's less interesting. But I guess I'll take it. Because it just means that now we have a 10 per... What the hell? Oh, that's actually really bad, too. Because if I pick up just one ammo, I'm going to shoot just that one ammo. Which is not really what I'm looking for. Oh my god. Please go away. Forever. Excitement... I mean, excitement is probably fine. Sure. God. It's freaking babies, man. The freaking babies. I have no 360. None. Zero. Well, I think I have glare. But it's not helping much. Oh. My god. It's Siege. We got it. Oh shit. God damn it, you pieces of shit. Oh shit. Siege is good. It's not the be all end all, but my god, I just cannot deal with these shitheads. I need something more. That's not gonna work. I guess Doom. I don't think Doom is going to help much, but it might. I mean, the good thing is, I think at least the fire can also apply Curse. I'm not going to go out and try and get too much experience, because right now there's just too many babies. And they, they surround me way too easily. Although, maybe I can get some experience. Oh, Eye of the Storm. Perfect. Perfect time for you to show up, buddy! Yes! That will deal with things that get too close, finally. Or at least, it will help. I don't know if it'll deal with them completely, but it will help. Oh, I would still love energized bullets. Okay. We're almost through the babies, at least. Once we're through the babies, that's when we'll go out and get a ton of experience. They're almost done. They're almost done. I think that's just about done with the babies. Oh my god, yes. Shatter. Shatter is definitely what I needed. Because everything is going to be frozen, pretty much. God. Okay. There we go. Babies are done. Good. Grab all the experience. I mean... I guess I can pick up Ritual. I don't think Ritual is going to be that useful, but maybe... I'm just going to pick up all this experience. Power shot. I guess it's fine. 
I think I'll take Divine Blessing, though. I'd rather have the reload rate up. Magic Lens, take aim. All of these suck. This double shot is fine. I don't want anything to do with bullets, really, because my bullets suck. Oh my god, look at that spread! <laughs> that is definitely a spread. The good thing is, if I stand still, sometimes I just don't use ammo. Shit. Thank god for Eye of the Storm. Yeah, that's the Tome of Rage for you that does that massive spread like that. That is definitely what the Tome of Rage does. But it's okay, because I don't really care about my bullets that much. Light weaponry is not good. Holy Arts is not really what I'm looking for either, really. None of these are what I'm looking for. I guess Power Shot? Maybe just for the possible knockback? I mean, I know my knockback is terrible because of Tome of Rage, but... Maybe that'll actually make it not completely terrible. I doubt it, though. I definitely still need something else. God damn it, you pieces of shit! Get the fuck away! God damn! Fuck off! God, these stupid fucking shooters! Why do there have to be so many of them? There always have to be like 20 on the screen, I swear. Yeah, we're, we're starting to fall behind the curve now. This is not good, because this has the potential to work, if I could just make it work. Believe it or not, I don't think I've actually taken any damage. How's that possible? Oh, is this the one with Soothing Warmth? Wait a minute. Oh, I did pick Soothing Warmth. Okay. Well, that means we can be a little bit uh, more aggressive and a little bit less, you know, careful. God damn it! Come on. Doesn't mean I want to take damage all over the place, though. Certainly don't. Ooh, running gun. Running gun's really good. That might actually have saved pretty much everything. Fuck. Oh, give me that. Thank you. Oh, the fire rate. Yes. That's good. That's good. Don't, don't take damage. Don't take damage. Just try and set. There we go. There we go. Gotta heal. Good. Oh, yes! I just need energized bullets. If I can get energized bullets, we got this. If it would just offer me energized bullets, it'd be perfect. Because I have Siege with energized bullets would be unstoppable. We're actually almost unstoppable now, because I already have that 10% chance to get one ammo back while picking up experience. Arrow Mastery is fine. I think I'll go with Quick Hands, though. I really need this reload rate up. Just in case, because right now I have to reload. I want to get to a point where I don't have to reload. But I'm not there yet. Uh-oh. See, the problem is... She's going to run out of ammo real fast with this massive fire rate boost from that item. And that could be a problem. Oh, thank god. Thank god for soothing warmth proccing so much. I, like, MVP. MVP upgrade of the game, soothing warmth. Of this run, I mean. God damn, I just can't get anything. I think... I think Divine Wrath is the way to go. Just in case I get Energized Bullets. Because if I get offered energized bullets, I'm taking it. 
because that will probably make it a one run, I think. I think. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But she will fire so fast, and there will be so much lightning that it should, and every time that the lightning strikes, there was, what is Energized Bullets? A 30% chance, I think? Oh my god, I'm killing trees. That feels good to kill trees. There it is, Energized. That's what it is. Oh, it's a 20% chance to automatically refill three of your ammo. If I pick this up, I think it's just a one run. I think so. I think we can just auto-target and just... Just go. Wow. Look at that. Look at how many bullets fire. You can't even imagine how many bullets are firing. Because every time that she inflicts burn, she fires that much faster until she reloads. Unfortunately, this is not quite... In the territory of not reloading at all, but my god, look, there's literally nothing on the screen. Okay, now we gotta take off that auto auto uh, lock. We gotta focus this boss and focus his stupid, stupid shooty ads. I hate them so much. Oh, I hate these guys too. Just explode, thank you. Oh, don't even think about touching me. Dude, look at the damage. The damage is real. Guess I go with. I mean, these are not good options. I guess I go with Ghost Friend. Ghost Friend is a terrible pickup for us, though. But I don't think there was much, much better options there, really. I just kind of want to focus on the ads more. I'm not as worried about the boss. As long as you're away from him, like far away from him, you don't have to worry about him as much. Because he can't attack. He can only attack when you when he gets into close or when you get into close vicinity or he gets into close vicinity of you. Oh, he's dead. I heard him go. What is it? Oh, the tome of elements, huh? This is also interesting. A tome of power. I don't think it's a good idea. No, I don't think it's a good idea at all. I think Tome of Elements is the obvious choice here. Fanfire, probably not what I'm looking for. I'm not really looking for any of these. I guess more fire rate is fine. My god, I beat that boss so fast. Yeah, this guy, this guy usually shows up while you're fighting the boss. But, uh, not this time. Get out of here, fucking babies. Like, the babies are the worst, man. I can deal with the big boys. I, I have a hard time dealing with the babies. Because they're just so fast, and they swarm you so quickly. Please, dude, thank you. That's the third item. Burn lasts twice as long. Nice. There we go. Now we should just go back. We should be able to go back to auto-targeting, and we should be good, I think. Every now and then when we reload, just come out here, grab some experience, see if we can maybe get another level. Granted, what would I even want? I mean, I guess Silver Shield. I guess. Just in case my shield pops? I don't think it will, though. I'd love Kill Clip. That seems to be working pretty well. I think this might be a one run. Wow. Dang. Splinter, which I don't really need that either. Not that much, anyway.
The only thing that can really be that useful to me right now is pretty much Kill Clip. Because I'm killing a lot, so that would be really great. Because I do still have to reload. Well, I mean, this would get me to Kill Clip. Sure. And more maximum ammo? I don't think I'd say no to that. What's that? Generator. When you gain ammo, also gain fire rate? What? Oh, this is gonna be ridiculous. Oh, it's gonna be ridiculous! She already gains so much fire rate. Oh my god. It's absolutely ludicrous. Look at the tornadoes! <laughs> The reason why I'm making that many tornadoes was because I was picking up experience. And so every time you pick up pick up experience, you have like a 10% chance to to put one ammo in your guns. So if you're ready to reload, like and you pick up like 10 experience and they all do the 10%. Oh, there's kill clip. It's over. I mean, there's also there's also electro mastery. Honestly, I think Kill Clip is the one that I gotta pick up. That is just gonna make our reload, like, instantaneous, pretty much. Yeah, we got this. It's over. And that is a win with the SMGs. That means I've won with every single weapon. And now I still got two, two or three characters to win. I think it's three, I believe. Master, Luna, and whoever's next to Luna, I think. Or is it just Haster and Luna? It might just be Haster and Luna. Very possible. Wow, this is super good. All I have to do is just stand here and hold the left mouse button. That's it. Feels good. They can't even get remotely close to me. And that is it. There we go, Pyromaniac and SMG Mastery. I was like, yeah, that uh, that other achievement better be popping up. Usually they pop up at exactly the same time, but the SMG Mastery took a little bit longer to pop up. I was like, I better get that achievement. I'm doing fantastic though. Oh, and Shauna, I forgot about Shauna. No, there are only two over here. Uh, I mean... <laughs> If I was going to be Shauna, what would I want to play with, though? I mean, Shauna's pretty good at with the revolvers. The revolver. Probably fine. If I can get this last one up. Almost done. I'd never use it, because it's trash, but... You know. There's just... Some of those rune perks are just garbage. Ooh, it takes three shots to kill these boys? I thought it was just two. Those Caden shots are nice, though. Really help out a lot. hands is fine. Light weaponry also would have been a decent upgrade there, I think. Because the bullet damage of the revolver is fairly decent in the beginning. But I think the reload is gonna be better. That actually fires quite fast, too. 
faster than you would think. I think it has about a, the same fire rate as the SMG. Or dual SMGs, I should say. Okay. More reload rate, huh? And increased bullet damage is also very interesting. I think I am going to pick up light weaponry. Just because I think it will do quite good work. Especially in the beginning, light weaponry is pretty, pretty dang decent. Thank you, Cadence. I basically just try to aim for those exploders pretty much at all times. Because I know Cadence is going to... We'll deal with them eventually. Um, yeah, power shot is fine. Because I would love to get to Splinter. Splinter on the revolver is very, very good. Honestly, Splinter on basically anything is super good. Okay. Also, remember, I can reroll if I don't like my choices. Do I like Fresh Clip? Kind of like Divine Blessing. Yeah, Divine Blessing is fine. That's move speed and reload rate when your Holy Shield is up. That is very decent. Might have been worth re-rolling, though. Try to see if I could get Splinter early. Electro Mage. Magnetism, arrow. I think I'm going to re-roll and see... Damn, I was hoping for Splinter. Sharpen is probably fine. Yeah, Sharpen I think is fine. That'll just boost my blade's damage a little bit. It's definitely doing more damage than I am. It's doing almost as much damage as my Caden Shot does, I think. My Caden Shot is 47. And I think the Sharpened Knife is doing like 37 damage? Something like that? 38? Careful. Thank you. Dark Arts is fine. Armed and Ready is decent as well. Is it worth it, though? I really want Splinter. It's not Splinter. Dual wield is fine, though. Since we've already got the, uh... Blade upgraded, might as well get a second one. Why not? Double the damage. Essentially. Clip, not really what I'm looking for. Stalwart shield, not really what I'm looking for right now either. I guess rapid fire is fine. I, I kind of want to go for pyromage. I do need the damage. Because if I'm not going to be picking up damage or uh, starting to boost myself up in damage, we're going to fall behind the curve. And it's always miserable in this game to fall behind the curve. Right now it still feels like it's pretty decent. Well, there's the Elite. I guess this will tell us how far behind the curve we are at Frost Mage. Perfect. I will not re-roll that. The only bad thing about the daggers is they don't really... They don't really focus fire anything, right? So they're not, like, totally focused around the elite. They just kind of wander aimlessly. Randomly. Damn it. Did not want to lose that holy shield. Feels real bad. That was my only movement speed upgrade. Feels bad. Here's a box. I don't know what this box is. Well, since I was saying I need movement speed, I'm going to pick up some movement speed. There we go. I think that was pretty much as, as much as I got from the Holy Shield, I think. God damn it. Get away from my item, would you? Thank you. 
triple the effect of the next upgrade you take. Oh my god, I gotta get something good for that. Triple Splinter? Triple Dark Arts is interesting as well. Triple Dodge. Wow. Might be just like straight up 60% chance to dodge. Man, I think I gotta try that, right? I think I might actually be able to break it and have a 100% chance to dodge and never be able to die. That's 60%. I'm, I know you can still get more dodge. You just gotta be careful, because that might not have been the best thing to take. Getting that triple upgrade is kind of crazy, though, because some of the upgrades are so good. Wow, that was a good dodge. We're probably going to see that dodge letters all the time. Oh, running gun. Oh my god, yes. Please, running gun. See, it still does slow you down a tiny bit to fire, but man, it's like a 10% slowdown or something like that. Maybe not even that. It may actually not be any slowdown, because it says walking speed is 100% faster. It still feels like it's kind of a slowdown. Uh-oh. Gotta focus this big boy. Oh, what's that? You tried to hit me and I dodged, didn't I? Cute. There's more dodge. Bullet damage and move speed. I mean... Let's go with the more dodge and more move speed for now. This is just going to be the broken run where Shauna just can't get hurt. <laughs> Doesn't mean I do want to get hit, though. I think I have a 70% chance to dodge now. It's a really good dodge percentage. Oh, shit. Oh, that does kind of mean... That it looks like it does take away your holy shield. You don't get a chance to dodge if you have a holy shield. Which is kind of sad. At least I think that's how it works. And the wind is fine. Oh, god damn it. Did I literally just dodge the arena damage? That's amazing. I don't even know if it does damage. I'm just assuming it does. I've, I don't think I've ever hit it before. But that dodge looked like it came from the arena. Please die, dude. Please. You gotta die, bro. I can't help but notice you're not dying? Probably because I don't have Frostbite. Oh, nice. Tome of Elasticity. Tome of Rage. Tome of Speed. You know what? The Elasticity might be fine. I almost never go for bullet damage. Or, I mean, bullet bounce. So let's, let's try some bounce, shall we? Get a little crazy with this. I mean, I basically have a 70% chance to dodge right now, so, yeah. I'm not too worried. I'm playing very loose. And my dodge can still get so much better. Arrow magic might be good. Yeah, let's go with arrow magic. I could have re-rolled, but I think arrow magic is good enough, because I really do want to get Eye of the Storm. Because I... I think I might be starting to fall behind the curve here. But being able to deal with things that try to surround me would be very nice. Get some experience over here. Damn, my speed is super fast. But lord is it fast. I can just get around everything. Oh, oh there's Splinter. Yeah, Splinter's great. Yep, Splinter is definitely good. Good stuff. And I do believe that the Splinter bullets actually scale with bullet speed as well, which is interesting. At least I think they do. 
Because they're not staying on the screen for very long. But with bullet speed, I think they would go much further. And again, I could be wrong. I really need more damage, though. Like, Splinter is good, but it ain't damage. I need damage. Yeah, these, these shooter boys, they ain't going down at all. Look at this. I emptied two clips in him, and then he finally died. God damn it. Now I'm going to start getting surrounded here. Here we go. What is this? Reaper rounds? Not really what I was looking for. I don't think Electro Mage is really what I'm looking for either. I'm looking for something like... Frostbite would be great. And I mean, Dark Arts is fine too. Reflex is also ridiculous. This would give me probably a 100% chance to dodge. I mean, I think I gotta do it. At least for the memes. I do believe I now have a 100% chance to dodge. Or at the very least, it's like 85% chance. But it should be 100% chance, because it says it also scales with my move speed, and my move speed is ridiculous. So I imagine I have a 100% chance to dodge now, and I cannot die. I cannot lose this run. Which is kind of why Shauna's kind of broken. Just a little bit. There's even more move speed. Hell yeah. So if I didn't have 100%, now I do have 100%. I think. Unless it's not possible. There might be a cap to dodge. But I don't think there is, because the developers are like, hey, if you want to make a broken run, go ahead and make a broken run. Have fun with it. Yeah, I don't think I can be touched. Granted, I was invincible there. Uh, Dark Arts is probably what I should pick up here for the damage. Yeah, let's do it. That'll be good. Splinter can also affect, or can also proc Dark Arts, so that should help a lot. Also, we gotta pay homage to uh, Running Gun. Running Gun is really doing some work here. Big Shot is fine. Fresh Clip is not really what I'm looking for. I mean, this isn't really what I'm looking for either. I guess Tiny is fine. Kinda of funny. Look how small she is! Don't I dare you. See? Dodge. Oh, and then sometimes I can't dodge because I'm actually invincible. But I'm pretty sure I have a 100% chance to dodge. I cannot lose. Because I, I just, I can't die. I am the nimblest of the nimble. Uh, reload rate is fine. Max MMO is also fine. Again, remember, I didn't take Arrow to get Gale. I could care less about Gale. I really just want Eye of the Storm, but actually I don't even need that anymore because... Pff, I can't even be touched, I think. Unless there is a max cap on dodge, which I wouldn't be surprised if there was, but... I don't know. Haven't seen anything yet. With Reaper rounds. Infinite Pierce sounds pretty good to me. Can I dodge the big boys too? Oh, yep. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I think I can infinite dodge. Alright, I think I have 100% uh, dodge. I mean, I don't know if intense burn is the way to go here. Maybe? I mean, if I have infinite dodge, I could do something really, really stupid. Like the standstill, don't even shoot, kill build. And it would work. It would work 100%. But for right now, let's not worry about that too much. There's a little baby there. It's funny. It's like, man, those are some clutch dodges, aren't they? No, they're, they're really not clutch dodges. 
I'm gonna pick that up just in case I don't have 100% dodge, but I'm pretty sure I do. Shauna is broken. Her triple, uh, triple the next effect is is super broken. <laughs> it's so good. I mean, I don't want any of these. I guess Doom is fine. Not really what I'm looking for, though. I mean, if I could get Glare going, that would be perfect. I mean, this run has suddenly become trivial. Look, I can even dodge trees. I can stay at the tree. <laughs> amazing. It's just amazing. I'm pretty sure it's a 100% chance to dodge. I have never not dodged. I actually cannot take damage anymore. <laughs> It's impossible for me to take damage. Amazing. Get out of the way, please. I can just push enemies around. That being said, I still notice that I don't really have much damage. And when it doesn't dodge, that basically just means that I was invincible. Because you don't have to dodge when you're invincible. And apparently, yeah, you can't dodge the, with the holy shield on. That is too bad. Yeah, when they touch you with the holy shield on, you just immediately lose it. it sucks. I'm having a very hard time getting experience, though, because I'm having a hard time killing. It's a good thing I have all this dodge. Because holy shit. Oh, there's the boss. Or the elite. Hey, buddy. I don't even have to worry about anything. Nothing can hit me. No, no bullets, no nothing. I will just end up shooting you until you die. And maybe I can end up... Oh. And I really like it better when I dodge. Because it pushes them away from me. <laughs> Rather than being invincible, where they just kind of push me around, which is an asshole move. You can't kill me. You can't kill me. You can't even hurt me. Arrow Mastery, Fresh Clip, Star Wars Shield. I don't want any of these. Ritual's not really what I want either, I guess. This would help with the standstill kill build. Let's do it. Take damage from my scythe. I dare you. Man, my bullets are so weak, though. This 100% dodge build is broken as hell, and I love it. It's amazing. And it's not 100% broken. Like, you can just have a broken run every single time with Shauna. Because it's not guaranteed that you're going to get those dodges, and my god, this is a lot of enemies. It's a really good thing I have 100% dodge, eh? Because holy shit, I am not dealing with these enemies very well. I kind of want to just stay close to this guy so that he can get hit by my scythe all the time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is 100% dodge, because I have never been hit, even once. This? Gain experience? Nice, sure. She does like to gain experience faster. Can I just get, like, a, a little bit of experience, please? Thank you. Well, this would be pointless. I'm never going to have a shield. Uh, Ritual's not really what I'm looking for, either. Reroll? I mean, Eye of the Storm is perfect for the standstill kill build, right? Like this, just... Like, right here, and just... Kill everything. Without ever shooting. The only problem is, they will push me around a little bit. Which actually might be kind of not that bad. 
By the way, how much does Eye of the Storm even do? I can't even see myself. I am swallowed up by enemies. <laughs> well, it's not gonna quite work yet. I still need to kind of use my guns because I, I need to get more experience. What I need is I need glare. And I need glare to be able to proc on hit effects. Arrow mastery is also fine. But I'm gonna reroll for glare. Damn. That sucks. I mean, I could grab the dragon egg. That would be perfect for a standstill kill build, too. I do have to be careful, though, because this might, like, like kind of dull my skills here. <laughs> but it is kind of nice to have a run like this where you're just like, I don't care. I don't have to care about damage. I can't get hit by anything, including this boss. I can dodge your laser beams. Actually, Frostbite is probably a good, good choice here. I can dodge your laser beams, bro. Frostbite's a super good, super good pickup. Don't push me into laser beams. You dick. Why are things exploding? Oh, that's just the exploders. Well, thank God I don't even have to worry about the shooters. Look at this, I'm actually knocking the boss. He's almost outside the arena. I don't even have to move. They're just coming to me and exploding and dying. That is hilarious. This is the best build ever. It is the meme troll the game build. Because they try so hard to kill you, but they just, they can't. It is physically impossible. Look at how fast he fires, though. Like, that is no joke. I'd say Darkness 15 is no freaking joke, for sure. But, uh, you know, if, if you have 100% dodge, it, it's a joke. <laughs> Again, any other character cannot get 100% dodge. This would be impossible. I think. I'm pretty sure it would be impossible. I don't really want any of these, though. I mean, I guess getting the dragon damage is fine. I guess I'll get magnetism just for the insane pickup range. You can't even touch me, dude. You can't even touch me, Elite. Like, you think you can. You're trying to come at me. But you can't. In fact, these stupid babies keep pushing me around. It's very annoying. Oh, there's the boss. Dead. Um... I mean, honestly, I don't need any of these, either. None of these are for standstill kill. There's Glare. Perfect. Glare is what I wanted. Tome of Elasticity, Summoning, Power... I mean... Sure. This is fine. I mean, I don't need it. I'm not even going to have time to do this standstill kill build. Even though she has the reroll, she's not getting what I need. But there's shatter, but I definitely... There! Sight magic. That's what I want. There! Now we can just stand still and kill. Because now Glare can apply Freeze, and Freeze has Frostbite. Yeah, it's perfect. And they'll kind of push us around, so we'll get in uh, we'll get experience that way. This is the trolliest way to get through to, to survive for 20 minutes. <laughs> I actually think I never took any damage on this, and I immediately get the item, too. There's the Halo pieces. Probably too late for that. Honestly, I don't even need them. They wouldn't do anything for a standstill kill build. Well, actually, what I want to do is just kind of pick up some more experience here. Frostfire is not technically what I'm looking for. Yeah, let's go with Intense Glare. I kind of just want to buff up Glare 
as much as possible. Look at this. We don't even have to... We don't even have to do anything. We will dodge all the time. There we go. Perfect. There's the standstill kill build. Wait, would you please get out of my way, please? Thank you. There we go. Perfect. See? Now everything should just die. And for the most part, it kind of works, even without the dodge. Kind of. I mean, there was one time where we dodged there. Look! Everything just dies! <laughs> it's amazing. I don't even have to use my gun. Oh, well, the big boys don't really just die. They have a bit of trouble, for sure. I don't really understand how everything in the back back there is frozen. I think it must be Splinter. It must be Splinter. That's the only way that could happen. With a standstill kill build like that. I don't care too much about that. I don't care too much about any of these. Anything else better? I guess Ritual could be fun? I mean, if you think about it, it builds on itself, right? Because Curse does 200% of your bullet damage. Whereas with Ritual, if you kill 10 times with Curse, then it gives you 1% more bullet damage. Which means 1% more Curse damage. It's just, it's like a never-ending cascade. I don't care about your bullets. That was weird. I dodged one bullet and the other bullet just disappeared. Unless the... Can the dragon take hits for you? I don't think he can. Whoever knew you could get a win this easily on Darkness 15. <laughs> It's the peaceful ending, where Shauna realized she would never get her halo, and so she just gave up the fight. Oh, well, I mean, I could get a piece of the halo, but it's pointless. Shatter's awesome, though. Crossfire, I guess, is fine. Give me experience. Pick up range? Sure. I'll take pick up range. That just means more experience. Give me all the experience. Another Halo piece. Nah. More pick up range of vision range? Hell yeah. Especially for the vision range. Oh, it's over. Oh, I couldn't even get one more level. Damn. Oh, an Angel Shauna. She wins. Without ever even having fired a bullet within the last... What, five minutes, I want to say? I think? Something like that. Anyway, that's a Darkness 15 win for Shauna. Perfect. So all that's left now is Luna and Haster. And I'm trying to think of what would be great for Haster. Because his tentacle just does 30 damage, period. Doesn't have anything to do with bullet damage, so he doesn't need super high bullet damage. He just needs things to stay away from him. could try the bat gun? Because I think his tentacles are technically summons? So if he goes for like a summon build, that could be really fantastic. Although the bat gun is like... It's either super good or dreadfully terrible. There is no really in between. But I'll give it a shot and see what happens.
We haven't played as a bat gun in a long time anyway. Or played with the bat gun. Can't play as the bat gun. It's not a character. Hey, tentacle. Thank you very much. You do way more damage than my bat gun does. That's for damn sure. Rapid fire is decent. Yes. I'll take rapid fire, sure. The more bats you can have on the screen at a time, the better you are going to have of a time. Okay, this is already starting to feel pretty good. Man, it hurts so bad to watch um, Retromation play this. He was playing the back gun and he never picked up double shot. He was offered it in every single one of his runs and he never picked it up. And I was just like, oh dude, it hurts. It hurts that he never picked it up even once because double shot is like the pickup on the back gun. You need it. Because the bats, like, actively dodge what you're aiming at. See? It's not hitting what I'm aiming at at all. But that that problem gets fixed if you get double shot. Uh-oh. Uh oh Oh, what a good time for a level up. Reload rate and fire rate? I mean, that's not really what I'm looking for. I could technically go with light weaponry and or ghost friend because they bring up summon damage which would technically bring up my gun damage sure what a good time to reload oh it still popped my shield that is bullshit it's fine One of the bad things about this gun, and what Retromation found out really quickly, is you don't want to hold the button for too long. Because enemies will... They will just... hoard out. They're pretty rough. That is not what I wanted. I wanted Sharpen. But I guess it's fine. I'm gonna go with the bullet speed, because bullet speed on this gun is good. See, it means that your bats go super fast, which is good, because they are technically very slow in the beginning. Their bullet speed is abysmal. Oh, that was a good shot. More bullet speed and bullet damage? Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, it's probably fine. The faster you can get them out there, the better. Granted, I would still really like to get more bats. That would be fantastic, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Fuck. God damn it. See, that's the thing. If you hold the button for too long, you just take damage because there's just enemies everywhere. And one thing is also that Haster is very slow. Iron Mage is fine. I don't think Blair is what I'm looking for. Maybe Heavy Weaponry would be better. It should be decent about... Or decent at helping me deal with things that are getting a little too close. That was a good Caden shot. See, the problem is... The blades aren't going to do a ton of damage. Because my bullet damage is, like, abysmal. Yeah, this, this may just be a loss. Because it's, it's not giving me anything at all to get more bats. This quick hands is fine. But I need more bats. I just don't have enough bats. You need lots of bats. Bouncing and piercing and all that kind of stuff. You also need summon damage. Which the game just is also not offering me. Can't help but notice that. Like, Haster needs summoned, summon damage. There's a dual wield, but that's not what I'm looking for either. But I guess it's fine. It is technically more damage. Please. Please just die. Let's come to my tentacles. Thank you very much. 
Thank you. Thank you, Tentacle. Good place for you to spawn. Oh my god, there's just there's just no summon damage. I guess max ammo is fine. Because it technically is more bats. The thing is, I just need to output more bats faster. Like, two at a time is not much, and I haven't gotten any bullet damage either. Gotten decent reload, though. It is definitely pretty good, because usually the reload on this thing sucks. Okay. This reload isn't so bad. Thank God for Cadence. God, please. That exploder was not dying, which is not good. Oh, there we go. Sharpen. That is very decent. Because that is not only upgrading... That's summon damage upgrade. So that means bats upgraded. And knives upgraded. Scythe upgraded. Pentacles upgraded, I think. Hard to tell. They said they do 30 damage. Let me see. I think they did 33 damage? Wait, let me see. I, I can't tell. can't tell how much damage my tentacles are doing. Okay. That is Assassin. Assassin is good. I think I'm gonna go with Bullet Bounce, though, because Bullet Bounce is super good on the bat gun. See? Now our bats are staying alive. A bit longer. Pierce and bullet bounce is super good on the bat gun. Because you want your bullets to stay alive and bounce around. It's also one of the only guns that I will take the magic shield with. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is real bad. Fuck! I'm dead. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't offering me anything. There was no way that was going to be a one run. Not at all. I need more bats, and it never, ever offered me Frost Mage. Not even once. If you don't have Frost Mage when it comes to that guy, you're dead. That's it. That's that's all that happens. Unless you're playing on a lower darkness. If you're playing on lower, lower darkness, you can probably manage it. Not really that bad. But when he attacks that fast and he does that much damage, like, you're, you're fucked if you don't have Frost. But again, it never offered me a Frost Mage, so what can you do? Sometimes RNG is just gonna fuck you over. It happens. I mean, it's offering me Pyromage every single goddamn time. But it never offers me a Frost Mage. I mean, there's Magic Lens, which is interesting. I think I'll go with Light Weaponry, though. I don't know, this back gun may just not work. I was able to get the Darkness 15 win with it, but it was with Abby, because Abby is too good. I guess at this point, I would probably take... I guess Quick Hands is fine. It's technically more bats, because it is a, a slightly faster fire rate. See, the thing is, they're so weak. That's why they need the bounce and the pierce and stuff. They're just so weak. They also need, like, summon damage up. And bullet damage would be good, too. This is fine. Again, I would really like Frost Mage game. If you could just give me Frost Mage, that would be fantastic. Because I cannot beat that Dashy Boy without Frost Mage. I can't. It's impossible. Especially with being this slow. God is Haster slow. Or maybe this is how slow everybody is? I don't know. Jeez. Thank God for that Caden shot. Good Caden shot. Very good Caden shot. Finally, Frost Mage. I will take it. Yes, getting Splinter would be nice too, but I need that Frost Mage. Especially because that will also allow me to keep these little piss ants off of me. See? Just kind of keep them off of us. 
A little bit. Cadence every now and then is really nice, too, because it does allow some of my bullets to stay alive. Because of the infinite piercing. And the more damage. Oh, there's frostbite, too. Yeah, I'll take frostbite. Frostbite is just more damage. Take it. Fuck. Son of a bitch. Oh, God. That was close. Come on, game. Give me something that gets me more bats. Nothing that gets me more bats. Wow. I you know. I guess I'll take the scythe. God damn it. Stupid fucking exploder. I can't help but notice that it has never offered me anything to bring my projectiles up at all. Out of both runs, I've never been offered double shot even once. I mean, there's Shatter. Shatter's decent. I'll take Shatter. Yeah, I can definitely hear him shattering. That's good. Oh, you fucking assholes! Fucking goddamn pieces of shit. If I don't hurry up and get some bats, like, I'm gonna be fucked. There's still no bats. Wow. Wow, game. Can you seriously just not offer me double shot? Is that, like, impossible for you to offer me? God, that was so close. Remember, I have no dodge chance, so, yeah. This is probably a loss. I'm just gonna go out and say it now. Oh, thank god. Thank god there's double shot. I will take that over sharpen, honestly, because it's just more bats. And like I said, more bats is good. Also, now the gun does not actively dodge what you aim at. See? It's good, it's better. It's still not good enough, but it is better. God damn it, you piece of shit. Can't believe he popped in my bubble. That is so ridiculous. Because I let go of the left mouse button, but apparently I didn't do it fast enough. Magic Lens is fine, but I think I'm going to go with Ghost Friend. Like I was saying, Ghost Friend is actually really good, too. Because he has all those summon damage upgrades. God damn it! You stupid motherfuckers, get away from me! Jesus Christ, just die, would you? God, I hate the fact that they can just come right up on you. You're way faster than you freaking think. I don't know, I may just not be able to do this with the bat gun. Like, the bat gun is a pretty bad weapon. It is certainly not a great weapon. This, this is some damage, at least. It's not much. Oh my god, would you just die? Oh, he did die. Hey, finally. He listened to me. Yay. Go grab all this experience. Good. See if we can grab the item. Ooh, that was close. Master's tentacles deal 30, 30 more damage. That's not great. Oh, fuck. I think that actually hit me, too. Oh, God. Okay. I have to remember I do not have a ton of fire rate. Let's run and gun. Definitely taking run and gun. This gun begs for run and gun. Because now we can move super fast while firing still. Good. Oh, it's fantastic. That does help out a lot. But again, if I get touched by this guy, I am super fucked. Yes! 
Lock him up in the tentacles! Fuck. I lost my holy shield, but that's fine. Get over here to the tentacles! Come! Yes! You're in the tentacles! Rack him, tentacles! God damn it! Pieces of shit! I'm not even sure what level I am. Summon attack speed is good, but I think split fire is the way to go here. Just to get that extra bat. Oh, God damn it, you motherfucker. Yeah, I I don't think I can do it with the bat gun. Like, the bat gun just fucking sucks. It is horrible. If this gun had more damage, or maybe better fire rate, you know, if the projectiles weren't so absolutely goddamn weak, they are the weakest projectiles in the game, pretty much. Besides the dual SMGs, but this fires super fast. And double procs. I guess these can technically double proc because it's double bats. But it is by far the weakest gun in the game, I think. I mean, the flame cannon's weak too, but it sets the enemies on fire, so... Yeah, it makes up for its weakness. I think I'll just try Haster with the SMGs. You know, fuck the stupid back gun. It's a piece of shit. Like I said, the only real way to play the back gun really well is Abby. Because she fires around uh, randomly anyway. I think he can do decent with the SMGs, probably. Please. Okay. Pretty decent. There's a good chunk of experience over there. Plus, his tentacles dealing more damage isn't one of the best things that he could have gotten anyway. Take the quick shot, or a quick reload. The cans, I mean. I mean, I don't feel like my skills have dulled from that broken Shauna run. It's just, like, there's something about Haster that's not super great, right? Like, I kind of wish that his tentacles could, like, have a small stun or something so that they could keep things there more, which would be great. They, they do so little damage. They're so meaningless, really. It's sad to say, but it is kind of true. Like, if there was any kind of information about what could do damage, what did the best damage at the end of the run or something, Aster's tentacles would be like, hey, they hit like 10 times, bro. And, and obviously that's, that's sarcasm. It's not, or uh, that's being facetious. Because they don't hit ten times, obviously, but, you know, you get what I mean. They don't hit very much. I don't really like any of these. I guess Doom is fine. If I could get an early ritual, that would be very interesting. Come to my tentacles. They attack so fucking slowly, too. They really do. So you really got to get that uh, that item where they attack faster. Oh my god. There's Ritual. Interesting. Is it too early for Ritual? Maybe. But also maybe not. Oh, there's Frost Mage. Definitely pick that up. Definitely need that. Also, if you wanted to beat this way easier, don't take Alacrity as your your uh, perk. Take the, the one that says that you might have a chance of burning or freezing your enemy. Oh my god. Or the target that you hit with your bullets. 
That way, even if you don't get offered Frost Mage, you can still deal with the uh, dashy asshole guy. What do we got here? Armed and ready. Blair, fresh clip. Okay, let's go with the uh, armed and ready. Probably fine. Just have to remember that ritual is really important on the dual SMGs because of the fact that they are so, so weak. They are so unbelievably weak. Oh god. Okay, good. Thank you for the frost. Ice shards is not really what I'm looking for. I guess I'll go with glare. I don't know if it was the right choice. But it will at least do some damage to things that are really close to me. Or within my sight range. Which is the good thing about glare is it actually does bring up your sight range as well. I think I failed to mention that a lot. I'm actually going to grab haste because speed sounds really good and I would love to be able to get run and gun if if the game would see fit to give me run and gun. That would be fantastic. Please get the fuck out of my way. Thank you. Get hit by my tentacles, please. Please and thank you. Here, there's a lot of experience. Good. Um, blazing speed, electromage. Electromage is fine. Yeah, it's, that's probably good enough. Remember, this gun does fire very fast, and it fires even faster when you get all much of barrage. Obviously. Damn. Uh. But this gun, this gun's um, real strong point is the on-hit effects, being able to double proc. That is super good. It just means all of your on-hit effects are going to be double as strong as they say they are. Or, well, something like that. Damage of glare is double? That sounds good. I would also like that Sa how do you say it again? Sa sa something. The thing that makes glare damage happen twice as often. Maybe this. Damn it! It's just the smash again. God damn it! That's not what I wanted. That was not worth it. I mean, sure, it's nice that they deal more damage, but they they do it so so rarely that it doesn't really do anything. Like sight magic, that's fine. That means glare can potentially curse and freeze enemies that are around me. And it also does give you more vision range, which means glare has a bigger bigger area to work with here. Good stuff. If anybody could do a standstill kill build, it would be faster. Oh man, running gun is so tempting, but I think Pyramage is what I want here. Just so that now I can I can freeze and burn. And Glare can do the same thing. I can freeze, burn, and curse. Which is definitely decent. Oh, that's dangerous. Just gotta remember. Wanna take a couple shots. If he's coming at you, make sure you stop firing. I hope I can double apply curse too. I think you can. Which like I said, that's why these guys these guns are so strong. These dual SMGs are so good. That's why they have such weak bullet damage though. But technically it's not even really weak bullet damage. Oh, frostbite. Oh, where have you been all my life, frostbite? Thank you. Oh, good. Oh, good. Frostbite will help out a lot. Thank you, Tentacle. Appreciate that. Good good time for you to pop up. Beautiful. Ah! That was bad. Bad dodge. Shit. It's fine. Thank you. I was like, as soon as the arena goes away, we should be good. Although he does get sped up when the arena's gone, I think. Like, he starts moving faster? Oh, he died. 
I heard that roar. What would I even want for Haster? I mean, Tome of Summoning probably would be the best. Tome of Speed would be fine too, because he's slow as fuck. Tome of Rage. I mean, I guess Tome of Rage maybe could work. Tome of Elements is fine. I've got all the elements, so no reason not to pick that up. Oh, Shatter. Yes. Yes, Shatter! MVP pickup! Ow, goddammit. Pieces of shit. I'm gonna really wish I had picked up Running Gun now, aren't I? Maybe it'll get offered again. Who knows? Probably not, though. The game's probably like, well, I mean, you didn't take Running Gun when I offered it to you, so, uh, sucks to be you, dude. Kill Clip? I don't think it's the time for Kill Clip. I guess Electro Bug is fine. I'm not really killing fast enough for Kill Clip to work quite yet. Although I did pick up that early ritual, so well, maybe Kill Clip would have been the way to go. I did forget about picking up that early ritual. I thought that was last run. But that does mean... God damn it. That does mean that my bullet damage is... Quite decent, honestly. I would still like that other glare upgrade, honestly. This is decent, too. I'm gonna go with Vitality, though. I am taking a lot of damage. A lot of really dumb damage. It's basically just because this clip is so big. Like, it takes a long time to empty it. And if you're laying on the left mouse button, you're going super slow. Damn it. Thank god I had the holy shield that time, though. Come on. Oh god. Getting surrounded! Ooh, that was close. Oh my god! Ooh. There's intense burn. It's fine. Sure. And that should push everybody away at least. Oh god, I need more reload rate. I am getting completely surrounded now. Yeah, I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm I'm dead. Yeah. Fucking impossible, dude. What could I have done to not die? Uh, get a better item? Like I said, Smash is the worst item to start with. And why does it always fucking give you that item every single time? Every time I play Haster, that's the very first item I get. Every time. I never get anything different. Because the better one to get is the one where his tentacles attack twice as often. That's good. Because that actually makes his tentacles not worthless pieces of trash. Because they attack like once every five seconds, it feels like. And just because that one rapid attack there, that does not mean anything. That was two tentacles on top of each other. But I swear, they only attack once every five seconds. Something like that. It's really bad. I guess I'll take Curse. I don't know if the tentacles can apply curse or not. Can they apply on hits? I don't know, they just kill. I can't really tell. My god, why do you not die? I guess I'll go with Electro Mage. Not really what I want, but I guess it'll work. At least it's decent damage, because my bullet damage is just fucking terrible. Because the bullet damage of the SMG is just, just horrible. Thank you. God, I need more reload rate. This is the reason why I'm getting surrounded. Just because it takes fucking two seconds to reload, pretty much. Just the worst. Maybe I should have gone for kill clip 
Kill Clip might have been the win. Or at least it might have been better. God, these are horrible options. I mean, Smite is definitely not the pick here. But what else was? I mean, they were absolutely terrible offers. I would take any reload rate. I mean, I guess that is technically reload rate. Sure. I do want reload rate, and speed is good. But it's only reload rate as long as I have the holy shield up, and how long is that going to last? I have no idea. I would totally take haste right about now, just to, just in the hopes of getting running gun. Running gun is super good with the SMGs too. I don't know if double shot is the way to go. There's haste. I'll take haste. Because I don't really know if double shot is the way to go or not. Haste is fine, though. That's movement speed and fire rate. I'll take it. And I've already got Frost Mage, so that's decent. So we know we've got that guy dealt with. As long as we don't make any stupid mistakes, which could happen. Run and gun! That is what I'm talking about. Running gun just makes this game feel so much better. I love the fact that it's just a level 2 upgrade, too. Like, all you have to do is get haste, and then it's in the pool. It feels like it should be the bottom upgrade, though, because it's so good. It is almost necessary pretty much all the time. I'll take Frostbite. I won't say no to Frostbite. That is definitely just more damage. Yes, come to my tentacles. Can't just keep running away forever. There we go. We gotta get back down here and get some experience. There we go. if you just keep running away forever, you don't level, and then you got problems. There we go. Um, Wither is probably fine. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but I, I think it's fine enough. And with with uh, haste and divine protection, or whatever the hell it's called. The one that gives you reload and movement speed as long as you have holy shield. I feel pretty good. And with run and gun, this is, this is fantastic so far. I really still need better reload rate. Like, it is just dreadful. God, it just takes forever to reload. The only time I'm... Oh! That was a good smite. Honestly, that was a pretty good smite. Power Shot is fine. Yeah, I think Power Shot is fine. Because I would like Splinter. What a terrible place for you to have dropped your item, you bastard! This is gonna be tricky. Ooh. God damn it! See, every single fucking time, all it does is give me smash. That's it. And then it's like, yeah, you, well, now you gotta s survive long enough to get the other one, bro. Which is definitely better. There's Ritual. I mean, I guess you, you gotta go for Ritual. Ritual is just straight up damage. Well, I mean, it's gonna be damage. But still, if I don't get something to deal with my reload rate, or something to do something in between the reloads, I'm gonna get surrounded. And I'm gonna be in huge trouble. Oh, there's the boss. Hey, buddy. Let's see. Evasive, big shot. 
Freezing speed. I mean, I guess big shot is fine. It is technically bullet damage, which is good. I'll take bullet damage. I do have frostbite. Man, my reload rate is just trash. Just trash. It feels like a whole five seconds where I'm just not firing anything. And that feels real bad. And, ooh, if I lose my holy shield, it is going to be worse. Oh my god, they're just fucking everywhere. Please. Please, dude, would you just die? Or could this arena go away? Reaper rounds? Not, probably not what I'm looking for here. In the wind, at least, it increases bullet damage, so I think I'll go for that. Uh, oh my god, is this arena ever, ever gonna drop? Please. Please! Okay. Oh, he died, thank god. And when the arena dropped, too, that's nice. Tome of Summoning, Tome of Elasticity, Tome of Power. Power? I guess... At least as long as it's not... Oh, that fire rate, though. That's rough. Well, I'm all about power now. Which could be good, or could be terrible. No, oh, with Elemental Barrage, the fire rate is decent. God, I need more... I need more of something. Yep. Yep. Splinter's pretty good. Since I've got all this bullet damage, I think Splinter is going to be fantastic. Is it the pickup? I mean, I don't think it's the pickup, but it's decent. God damn it, you pieces of shit. I did not want you to pop my shield. Because now my reload rate is even worse. Because the game thinks it's funny to just not offer me reload rate. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. That's it. There's nothing I can do. There's just no reload rate at all. Just zero reload rate. They won't offer me reload rate at all. I've taken every single reload rate I can get. But they just won't offer me anymore. So when I reload, I get surrounded. Oh. My god. Is the reload like three seconds? Like, it's great that you can, like move around and stuff, that's fantastic, but man, when you get surrounded, you just, you get surrounded. It's great that I have all this damage. Whoa, I just killed a tree. Holy shit. The, the poor thing about killing the trees is that they don't drop experience or anything, I don't think. They're like super impossible to kill, and you get nothing for it, which is unfortunate. Oh, Shatter is really good. Shatter is really good. Is that what I need? To not be surrounded and not die? No, I need reload speed. That's what I totally need, and if I don't get it, I am going to get surrounded and I'm going to die. Like that. Dude, fuck you, game, man. I cannot believe it's not giving me reload speed at all. It just will not give me reload speed at all. I guess I'm gonna try the stupid bat gun again. This is a horrible mistake, I know, but... If I can make it work, it will be... Fantastic. If we can just make it work... I just wish Haster's tentacles were better, right? I mean, if they were going to attack this slowly, they should already be doing, like, 60 damage. Because they attack so goddamn slowly. Like, I thought that the Shadow Clone attacked slowly. Like, these attack abysmally slow. 
I think they get like one attack off before they're unsummoned. Or maybe two? I don't even know how long they last. But there is another item for Haster that makes his tentacles last longer as well. Or no, I think it makes him spawn double the tentacles. He can have double the tentacles on screen or something like that. Rust Mage is good. Gotta pick it up. I mean, it's too important not to pick up. I think one of my tips with this gun, too, is don't... Don't uh, fall in the trap of laying on the left mouse button. Take your chances and just click. Oh god. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? I already got goddamn surrounded. That is ridiculous. Power shot is fine. In the hopes of getting to uh, Splinter. Splinter is super good with the back gun. Because it just makes little baby bats when everything dies. And those bats act like these bats. Sure, they do less damage, but they act the same. And like I was saying, with this gun, getting more bats is key. This is good. Running gun is also very good. But I think double shot is the pick here. Because it's just more bats. And you need more bats. The more bats you have, the safer you are going to be. Also, remember, this also makes it so that it doesn't actively dodge what you're trying to aim at. Yes, I will take running gun now. Running gun with this gun is also key. There we go. It's starting to feel good now. It's starting to feel okay. Just hanging out in the tentacles. Have to be careful though. It's still not, not like super great. God damn it! Just would you fucking die, please? So now, I think I'll go for... I mean, Doom, maybe? Doom just for the curse, I guess? Obviously not the best pick, but what else was I gonna pick there? Though honestly, like I said, Magic Shield with this gun works really well. Because these bullets just kind of go wherever they want, you know? Splinter. Yes. Splinter's exactly what we need. See, now look at all the bats. Okay, Splinter will help this run pop off big time. Basically because the, the bats have decent knockback. I could use some more knockback, though. That would be great. Any kind of knockback would be super fantastic. Fanfire is also very good. It's just more bats. Can't say no to more bats. You can't. Look at the bats. Look at how many bats we have. This is what you want. This is how this gun pops off. Now, it doesn't mean that it's a one run. That's for sure. It's good now, but it's going to fall off real fast. So we definitely need... We need more stuff, that's for sure. I just want this elite to die. Thank you. Please don't be Smash. Oh, it's Frenzy. Fantastic. Frenzy is fantastic. Look at how fast they attack now. So if before it was like... I think it's every three seconds they attack... And so now it's like every 1.5 seconds, I think. It's really good. And once I get Smash, that'll be even greater. You just don't want Smash first. Divine Blessing is... Good? Yeah, I think it's good. I want better reload rate, for sure. Better move speed is also fine with Ren and Gun. Careful. 
The thing that's a little counterintuitive with this gun is you don't really want to travel all over the screen as much as you can, anyway. Let's see, bullet damage, move speed, arrow magic, glare, holy arts. I think I'm going to go with in the wind just for more bullet damage. Okay, this is working pretty good so far. Kind of wish his tentacles scaled on bullet damage. That would be super cool. I guess that would also be kind of super broken. Because ritual. Frostbite. Perfect. Frostbite is wonderful. Yeah, this will probably be my last run. Meaning I probably won't be able to get Luna's Darkness 15. I'll probably just do that off stream. And then if I bring this back for stream, I'll probably just try some endless runs. I'm not going to be able to do endless today, though, because there's just not going to be enough time. Got to be careful of this guy. I think I might just want to do collateral damage with him. Like, not try and be right on top of him. This is perfect. More bats. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll just try and aim at everything that's around me. Just to not get surrounded. And just let the bats deal with him collaterally. It'll work for me. I mean, I don't have to worry about his dash either. Oops, that was dumb. Also, it would be very nice if he could get stuck in my tentacles. I would be very happy. Also, if this arena could go away, I would be also very happy. This is getting pretty freaking small. Oh, my tentacle killed him. Good job. Ah, Tome of Summoning. No, I think you have to go with the Tome of Rage. You have to. With this gun, you have to go with the Tome of Rage. It is made for the Tome of Rage. Just watch this. It doesn't matter about spread. That still feels like a very slow fire rate. Honestly, it does. Now, the reload rate... Oh, wait, no, 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 never mind. I didn't go for the Tome of Summoning. I went for the Tome of Rage. Now, the bullet damage is going to suck, but that's okay, because bats can also scale on summon damage, which will be fantastic. Uh, this is more bullet damage. Probably fine. So, since they can scale with summon damage as well, this is why Tome of Rage is a must-pick on this gun. I also would really like Fusilade. Like, I need more bats. This is starting to pop off pretty well, though. And even though, like, like I said, we took all that bullet damage down, it doesn't really matter that much, especially on Haster as well, because he's got his tentacles that can help out. We're trying to go for summon damage. Oh, there's Fusilade. Yeah, I think I gotta go with Fusilade. The ghost or the blades were tempting because of the summon damage possibility, but gotta go with Fusilade. Gotta just get those bats out. 36 bats, too. Oh, look at the elemental barrage, too. Absolutely fantastic. I don't understand why it's not firing faster than this, though. Toma Rage makes it so that you fire so much faster. It feels kind of weird that it's not firing faster than this. It feels kind of slow. Wither is probably fine. Honestly, I think... Uh, I think I'm going to go with uh, Light Weaponry for now. Ghost Friend might have been the better choice because he just has flat damage. Whereas Light Weaponry is my bullet damage, which my bullet damage is pathetic, I think. Can't actually tell how much damage it's doing. Five, maybe? Five is not good. But the good thing is we have Frostbite, we've got Splinter. 
got all these things that are kind of augmenting our damage. Not to mention the tentacles. Worst comes to worst, I can always hang out with my tentacles. Arrow magic is kind of pointless now. I don't think Doom is going to be great either, but Ghost Friend is fantastic, because like I said, this will offer us summon perks. We definitely need summon perks, because that will boost up the bullet damage. Because remember, bats are bullets and they're summons. That's one of the reasons you can take the Tome of Rage every time with the back gun, though. I mean, I didn't want the magic scythe. I'll tell you that much. Not exactly what I was wanting. Every time I pick those blades, I'm like, yeah, I want sharpen, and then it doesn't give me sharpen. Actually, this isn't too bad so far, though. Ooh, Reaper Rounds. This is also very good, but Reaper Rounds is super good. Infinite Piercing, if you kill an enemy. Which means... Infinite Bats. Or Infinite Life Bats. Potentially. Doesn't mean it'll always happen, because they are very weak right now. I will definitely take in sync, because that's more summon damage and summon attack speed, which means damage on the bats and speed on the bats. And Ghost Friend fires where I'm aiming, which is probably fine. But the real reason you take Ghost Friend is for the just just the straight up summon damage up. And summon attack speed up. Because he's not super great. Fire rate is good. Bullet speed is also fine. Wait, what is in this tree? Piercing. Bullet damage. And assassin. Assassin's really good. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll take take aim. The bullet speed is super good. Also, I think that... Wait, did that bring down my spread? No, it brings up... No, wait, it does bring down your spread. Which is probably fine. I mean, Toma Rage brings up your spread by crazy amounts. Not that it really matters with this gun. Because they just kind of randomly travel around and lock on to stuff anyway. I'm starting to notice that I don't really have the damage to deal, though. So I definitely need some more damage. I'm not sure where I'm going to get more damage either. Sharpen? That's fine. That's definitely more damage. That's more damage on everything, basically. I think that's more damage to the tentacles as well, because I do believe they count as summons. I could be wrong. I'm just going to go around and grab some of this crazy amount of experience out here. Piercing and bullet speed. Sure. I really want to get to Assassin as fast as possible. Because that will be... I mean, it's not its not technically damage, but it is kill potential. Quick Hands is also very fine. Is there more experience down here? Yes, there is. And we are speedy enough that we can take advantage of this. Very good. That's probably all I'm going to get, though. This is... And I guess that's not... That's not more damage, but it is more attack speed for my bats. Look at these bats. I'm just hoping there's enough damage to keep these guys at bay. So far, so good, but... This is just the beginning, too. It's just the beginning of these big boys. I mean, what else could I use? Ritual could be interesting. I don't think it would help much, though. Unless Curse is killing? Maybe it is. It might actually be killing. Oh, I hate these freaking shooters, man. The good thing is, we won't have to worry too much about the shooters at all. Because with this many bats, there's almost no chance that they'll get to shoot 
they'll almost always perma or be perma frozen. Hey, there's the boss. Hey, dude, what's up? Or elite, not a boss. He doesn't have an arena. There you go. You like that? If I get really close up to you, you can just get hit by all the bats because they pierce. And my ghost friend will shoot in your general direction, too. I don't want to get too close, though. Oop. So I want to pay attention to things that might be trying to sneak up on me. I think this guy is pretty dead. He's pretty much perma-frozen. I think I would love to get Kill Clip, honestly. Uh, please? Do not hit me with your bullets. Also, it's very easy to dodge bullets now, because I have Run and Gun. Usually not having Run and Gun makes it really hard to dodge bullets, because you get you end up being super slow when you're firing. Yep, there's Smash. So now my tentacles attack faster, and they attack for double the damage. Actually, that might be more than double the damage. Because I do believe, like I said, I think they count as summons. So with me bringing up my summon damage, I think that brings up the tentacle damage, too. I can't imagine they wouldn't count as summons. Yes, that is summon damage. I will take that. I will not say no to summon damage. Because that is bullet damage and summon damage. I'll take it. For now, let's try and keep everything at bay. Try and keep up here with our tentacles. Dodge the bullets. And just hope for the best. I mean, we've got a lot of ammo in this thing. Uh, they are staying away for the most part, but it is very hard to get experience. Well, for the most part, they're staying away. They kind of stay away when I do this. Because, obviously, the strongest part of my gun is going to be where I'm aiming. Please give me some experience, please, 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 please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, there's a lot of experience over here. I want to try and get some. Okay. Let me get a little bit more. There we go. Okay, that's fine. I want to be too greedy. Definitely don't want to be too greedy. This could be a Haster win. It's very possible. I do need a bit more experience, though. There. Okay, what do I get? What do I get? Dual wield? I think Wither... Wither's probably the pick here. Especially because I'm trying to get to Ritual. Because honestly, I think my bullet damage is decent now. Hard to tell, but I think it's pretty decent. I need to wait till the boss gets here, then I can start free roaming again. Because these guys, these big boys are, are kind of annoying. They are tanky as hell. I can't help but notice they're kind of tanking my bats, too. I could really use Kill Clip. Siege would be fantastic, too, but I think I passed up on uh, Rapid Fire before. Oh, is that the boss? Holy shit, I didn't even know he was here. But apparently he is. Okay, so that should stop big boys from spawning here after a little while. That's an exploder. Okay. And for the most part, we should be able to just deal with the boss by staying far enough away. And perma-freezing him. Let me see if I can lead him over to this tentacle. Come on, buddy. Don't, don't despawn tentacles. Don't despawn. You can do some damage to the boss. It'll be fun. It'll be a good time. Come on. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Here we go. There we go. Tentacles hitting him. Oh, it despawned. Damn it. That's fine. I did lose my shield, which is not great. Man, 
Thank god this gun is so good at dealing with the riffraff. Oh, he's getting a little too close, and he's dead. Another Tome of Rage? Summoning elasticity or speed? Honestly, I think I take the elasticity. Bounce basically just means that my bats stay alive longer. That sounds fantastic to me. I You need to die, dude. If this guy dies, it's a one run. If I can pick up the item from him, it's a one run. Because that means I can have six tentacles on the screen, and you already see what three tentacles are doing. Oh, unless it crashes. It might actually crash. The frames are starting to get a little bit low. That's what the bounce did. It's, it's making my bats live too long. Dude, you, you gotta get over here to the tentacles. Like, I, I can't deal with you. Thank you, tentacles. Thank you so much. Double tentacle attacks, yes! Double tentacle attacks. No, 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 no. Over here, over here. Triple tentacle attacks? Ah, yes, he's dead. Perfect. There it is. Summon tentacles twice as often. So now I can have basically six tentacles on the screen. There's rapid fire. Fresh clip could lead to kill clip. There's assassin too. Honestly, I think at this point I just pick up Electro Mage because I'm firing so fast that the lightning will help. Oh my god, there's so many tentacles. It's so good. See, this just goes to show that Haster can pop off. He just has to get to that point. If he doesn't get to that point, he's going to have a bad time. I guess I'll take Electro Bug. Yeah, I don't technically want it, but I guess it's fine. I mean, getting charged bullets would be fine, I guess. Or I think it's just called charged. I keep calling it charged bullets, but I'm pretty sure it's just called charged. Whoa, this is dangerous. Guys are starting to try and get up on me. I don't like that at all. Keep him at bay for a bit. Oh man, it's tanking the FPS. Just tanking it. Okay. Should end up being a little better here because the big boys are coming back in. Meaning less babies or no babies soon? I can't remember if the babies continue to spawn. What do we got? Oh, Shatter! Yep. That's a one run. Yep. Definitely need a Shatter. Also, remember, Frostbite and Shatter has nothing to do with your bullet damage. They explode for like 10% of their maximum HP with Shatter. That's what the damage they do. So it has nothing to do with bullet damage. So if you have low bullet damage, Shatter is still a fantastic pickup. And Frostbite too, because it takes away their maximum HP. Or it takes away a certain amount of their HP due to their maximum HP. Or whatnot. Wh wh whatever I'm trying to say. In relation to their maximum HP. That should be probably right. What else do I want here? I mean, dual wield? I guess sniper's fine. Try and cause the bats to move faster. If they move faster, technically that means they can hit more, maybe even stay alive longer. Oh yeah, this is working. In fact, we can just left click and auto target, I think. Granted, I would still like a little bit more reload speed, but I don't think it's going to happen. We got like 20 seconds to survive. I think we're good. We're surrounded in tentacles. That's a Darkness 15 win for Haster. With the back gun. Like, I, I knew the back gun would work. All it needed to do... Whoa. 
Oh, that went down to 8 FPS. Haster gets the achievement. Elder God. Good stuff. And so now all we're missing is Luna, I think. Luna's the only one that's missing, and she's got a 14, but she doesn't have 15 yet. I'm trying to think of what would be super good with her. Like, honestly, the bat gun would be interesting with Luna, too. I keep wanting to make the grenade launcher work for her, but it just... It never does work. So I think that's going to be it. Yeah, all my runes are all level 5 now, so I just get to keep my experience or whatever this is. Just in case they come out with more characters or more guns, I can just immediately buy them and just try them out. That'll be kind of fantastic. And look at this. This just goes to show you that even a casual gamer, which I will definitely call myself, I am definitely a casual gamer, can beat this game on Darkness 15. Now, is it easy? No. Not easy at all. You could see all the trouble that I had with Haster. But it is at least doable. Which is awesome. And if anybody says that this game is not doable to beat on level or Darkness 15, just point them to the stream. Point them to these videos because this is proof positive it is possible. Like I said, I'm not a pro at gaming or anything like that. I cannot. I can barely do anything in Brotato, but I don't know. I think the balance of this game is pretty fantastic. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, it's a little bit early to cut off. It's about 10 minutes early, but that's fine. Because I do, like I said, I have to grub hub today. And I'm hoping maybe it got warmer. Oh, it got warmer by two degrees. Wow. Okie dokie. Well, like I said, hope you, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Um, tomorrow I might go ahead and play some more Vampire Survivors. I was really enjoying that. Maybe try the Twitch mode. I know those those two viewers really wanted me to try the Twitch mode. I might try it. Just see what happens. I'm not sure what what will happen if like nobody's watching, though. Like If I do it from the beginning, what will happen if there's nobody there to vote? I guess maybe the the game will just default to random. I'm not really sure. But anyway, like I said, hope you guys did enjoy it, and I will see you all in the next stream. Bit of us out.